Good evening, Yarnies, Dirty Hookers, and Fiber Fiends. How is everybody doing? Let me adjust that. Uh, hopefully it's not peaking too much. All right, I think we're good. How is everybody this evening? Let me catch up. Let me see what's going on here in chat. Just a curious guide uh, first. Uh, welcome in, Private Zigzag, and thank you for the check-in, and thank you for the lurk. Hey there, Blue. What's going on? How are you, Blue? And thank you, Reese Cop and Yadarika, for the check-ins. Thank you very, very much. Um, let me get this all just set up just the right way. Um, we're going to be working more on this Garden Fairy. Let me check here. All right, we're going to work more on this Garden Fairy that we've been working on, seems like forever. Uh, switch over. Last night, I did off-stream um, the pink, the other pink petals. Hey there, Not the Mama. Welcome in. Happy Hooker here. You are in the, you are in the right place. Um, welcome in. And uh, I I know you were in the raid train. I've been seeing you your you pop up in a couple of the uh, the previous streams. Um, I was on the raid train on Saturday. Um, wait, I'm too soon. Stop. Hammer time. I was going to do it right at the same time. I was not synced up. Thank you, Witchy Weaver. How are you, Witchy Weaver? I haven't talked to you in forever. Um, but yes, I was on the raid train, the, the sixth craft and draft raid train that is going on now. We're at the very last stop. We're at, over at Supreme Doom. Currently, she's doing a, uh, a showcase of everybody, of all the things that everybody did on the, on their slot on the, uh, the raid train. Let me copy this real quick. Let me stop my music and we're going to shout out supreme hey there lovey thank you for the lark Uh, that was actually from today, like a few hours ago. Um, Supreme Doom 56 is Canadian, and uh, she's bilingual. She speaks English and French. She actually uh, teaches at a French school. So that was O Canada, the national anthem of Canada, but in French. Uh, we, were, we were talking about uh, Canadian things in her stream. Uh, she is per currently on right now. Uh, she was the one who hosted this uh, raid train the summer world tour it started last thursday morning with supreme doom and has gone non-stop without any breaks till currently right now and she's going to be finishing up i don't know how long she's going to be going on for but uh she's primarily a a card maker a paper crafter she's done some needle felting she's done some crochet she um 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 um, shuttle tatting, shuttle tatting, miniature building. She's got a little coffee shop, little diorama that she's in the process of building. So, uh, she's, she's great. She is great. And her husband, Shipwreck, uh, have, both of them have put, put together this raid train. And, uh, I am so happy to be a part of it, uh, part of her community. And, uh, so everybody go and check her out. Uh, hey there, Blue. Uh, Missed your message to me. I was in another stream. I was just asking how you were. Just asking who you were. Uh, what was that other than French? Oh, that was the uh, the national anthem, the, the Canadian national anthem. Uh, hey there, Witchy Weaver. Uh, took a break because I injured your back. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope you feel better. Trying to get back to this this week, but my son has been hogging your computer. No, I get it. I get it. Um... She is very talented, very talented. Beadwork? 
she's done beadwork? I've never seen um, Supreme do beadwork. I know she's she's got the beads for um, anybody who subs. And eventually she's going to make those into jewelry. But I have never seen her do beadwork on stream. She might have. But uh, she's very, very talented. And a she's super sweet. Super sweet. Um, let me bring back the music here. But yes, I was part of the uh, the raid train on Saturday, Saturday evening. I'm here in the state of Maryland in the United States. And for my portion, um, wanted to showcase something about my state. Gave, gave some interesting little facts and tidbits. But in Maryland, we're known for blue crabs, the crustacean, the animal. And I crocheted a little blue crab a little cute little blue crab, and in my state, there's lots of water around, that's why we have blue crabs, and when you harvest them, when you bring them out of the water, you could sell them or even do it yourself, and then we steam them. We don't boil crabs in Maryland, we steam, and when you steam a blue crab, they are a bluish gray color, and when you steam them, they turn bright red. And with Old Bay, yes. Hey there, um, Knit, Knit Pixie Knit. Welcome in. Way too many beads to not do bead work. Yes, yes. So, this was my sample I had beforehand. I had most of the body parts of the red one done. And on stream, I put them together. And uh, we now have two little crab friends. And uh, so, yes, they go from blue to red. And this right now is the time of year. This time of year... Summertime is steam crab season. Yep, I remember you changed your name to uh, Knit Pixie Knit. Yes, yes. So uh, yes, that was uh, that's what I did on the raid train, and again, it was it was it was wonderful. I was lurking on the entire thing, the entire raid train from last Thursday till currently now, and um, um. I've seen so many wonderful crafts and art. I couldn't be in every way physically, like not physically, but active in everybody, um, everybody's stream. But I was lurking. But the ones I did actually watch, uh, I was blown away by everything. Really want to go to Bodkin Point and get crafts in the famous TikTok kid Luke McFadden. I'm not familiar with Luke McFadden, but I know exactly where Bodkin Point is. It's not too far from me. <laughs> Uh, love how you made sure to specify crabs, the animal. Yes, yes, yes. Not a fan of blue crab, but not a fan of allergic to shellfish, but you love dungeons. Ah, ah. Yeah, I've had dungeness before. That's on the West Coast. Dungeness, snow crab, those are West Coast, uh, North American crabs. On the East Coast here, we have, uh, blue crab. Uh, but I'm sorry that you're allergic to it. Uh, he has a boat he bought and made a shop to sell his crabs out. Oh, I did not know that. Well, he's probably local if it's Bodkin Point. Um, saw, you, saw me lurking. Furnace Branch Road in Glen Burnie. Net Pixie, I am very familiar with that road. I've been up and down that road the entire length of it. My entire life. So <laughs> I know exactly where Furnace Branch Road is. Hey there, Thunder of Dragons. Welcome in. Welcome in. Oh. You too? Wait. Wait. Are you are you from the Maryland area, not the mama? Cause like like you have to be you have to be like a real local person to know Furnace Branch Road. Like even just Maryland general, most Marylanders don't know Furnace Branch Road. You have to be more because it's not a it's not a really long road. It's not like a major highway. It's it's a surface street. So, <laughs> and yes, Glen Burnie. Glen Burnie is a town. It's not an actual. They don't have a mayor. They don't have a like that type of town. It's a it's basically a zip code, but uh. It's a, it's a sizable population, but it's not like, it's not a huge city. I mean, we're close to Baltimore. 
Your husband's working in Perryville. Okay, yeah, Perryville. That's northeastern, northeastern Maryland, like almost to Delaware. I know I've been through Perryville many times. Uh, stuck in central Illinois. Oh, me too. That you were sad to alert, be allergic. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Again, different conversations, but it's all good. I, I'll figure it out. Figure it out someday. I'll figure out how to be a streamer. Uh, we need my weight in crab legs, and that's a lot. Yes. <sighs> love, love crab. Love crab legs. So what? So what are you, what are you sewing about? Are streams going to be more frequent? I'm going to be ready to learn. For yes. Yes. My plan is, um, normally, normally my schedule would be, as of late, most of, I want to say May, my, well, my plan was for May and June to stream at least six days, but we might even do, try to do seven days. We might not do long, full, like four or five, four hour streams. We might do more than like two or three hour streams, but yes, more frequently. Um, that is the plan. And you mentioned, um, learning right up here. If anybody has any questions about crochet. I am, um, my stream is geared toward education and teaching crochet. So at any time, I don't care if you're a, somebody who's never picked up a hook or somebody who was hooked for 40, 50 years. If you have any questions, I'm willing to stop what I'm doing, pick up a ball of yarn and a hook because they're all over this room. Well, not all over this room, but they're within arm's reach like that. So I can grab a ball and a and a hook and demonstrate something. Um, you have friends on the East Coast. Really want to learn granny square cardigan. You really want to? I've never made a granny square cardigan. Uh, be a crafter. Streaming is a byproduct. Yes, I've only gotten into streaming. This December will be my two year anniversary for streaming. Uh, learn the magic circle. Yes, I can teach magic circles. Magic would be awesome. You hate magic circles? Okay. I know, uh, Nip Pixie Neck, you're not ready right now. But if anybody wants me to show a magic circle right now, I can. Because, again, that's all this is about. This, this little garden fairy can wait. This, this isn't like it has to be done at a certain time. There's no deadline for any of these things. So I can, uh, I can show that. And even if you're not ready, even if you don't have the supplies and tools right now, I can always do it again in the future. Hey there, Evan. Welcome in. How are you? Welcome in. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a little brief, quick little demo on the magic circle in crochet. Let me switch some scenes. Um, let me find this real quick. Give me one moment. Uh, oh, did I mess it up? Oh. There we go. Um, you got the supplies and tools. You're lazy, too lazy to move 10 feet to get it. No, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> you don't have to go and get it. You can just use this as a visual to, to watch. And maybe some people learn by watching and letting it soak in and then watching again and watching and watching and then they get it. Or some people learn by doing so whatever works, whatever works. Let me move. Let me uh, come on. Let me zoom in a little bit. Your mom is calling. OK. Um, Crochet items that I've made. This is from Blue Raven. Crochet items I've made. Dog's head key ring, eyeball granny square coaster, pumpkin key ring. How much should I sell them for? They take a max of four hours, which was quicker, but back problems. Let me. Okay. We're going to address that. We're going to address Blue Raven's question first. So let me see if I can find. Let me find this real quick. Uh, 
Hold, hold the phone, hold the phone. Did I put it in here? That's not it. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So there is a video. Um, you're holding the phone. I'm going to post this, uh, post something in my Discord. I've probably posted it before, but I'm going to post it up again, uh, again in my Discord in the resources for ideas um, or patterns. I just posted something. I'm going to post it here in the chat as well. There's a YouTube video, and this is not just for crochet. This goes for anything that you make. There's a video. Uh, what's this guy's name? P Paul Pape Designs. Um, you could use this as a guideline for pricing handmade things. You don't have to go do it set in stone, but it gives a general idea, and you can always adjust things. There's some math involved, but he breaks it down very slow and easy. So I would, if anybody wants to, is curious about trying to price things for something that, that they make, check out that video. I got that, I found that video in the Moco Made Discord. Um, I don't, somebody, one of their members had posted it a while ago, and I kind of like that. But again, use that kind of, that formula that he explains in that video. Hold that, hold that thought. Where's my cursor? Welcome in, Mickey. We do have some chaos here on this stream. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> this is the long version, so... <laughs> It's almost done.
All right, thank you for that, Mickey. Uh, what's the Doc One? You'll have to redeem it. Um, like I was saying, use that video from Paul Pape Designs to get an idea of how to figure out what would be a good th good price to charge. Hey there, Teresa. Welcome in. For what you would charge for handmade um, items. So that's the best thing I can tell you because you don't want to overcharge or undercharge. And and even then, once you use that that this format, you might want to have to adjust it. And ready you use the, the, the song... Songs this long for body breaks. Yes, yes. Alrighty, let's bring the music, the actual music back. Come on. Alright. So, we're going to learn how to do a magic circle. Nope. Teresa. How? 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 You, you broke me. How do I how do I frog out something that isn't even stitched? <laughs> oh, I know what it is. I have to get my snibbles and f and break open the yarn and make it into fluff. Is that what I have to do? <laughs> I'm joking, everybody. All right. So if anybody is watching, is still here and paying attention. Uh. My my job finally is trained me to the front counter and drive through. Nice, nice. Oh no, it is a, it is a sound effect. But usually, the the originally I made the sound effect as if I was stitching and I messed up and I had to frog out stitches. But no, you're good. You're good. All right. This is how I do a magic ring. So I put the uh, the yarn in my hand, cut end here, and I wrap it around my first two fingers, my index finger and my middle finger, and I wrap around and I form an X. So we make an X, and I put my thumb on the X, and then I'm going to turn my hand, and this strand is going to go between my middle finger and my ring finger. So you have two strands. You have your front strand and your back strand. You're going to take your hook, and you're going to go under the first strand, and over the back strand. So you're going to have the hook facing down. So under the front, over the back, and grab it and pull it. Pull it through and turn it so it's facing to the sky. So let's show that again. I'm going to do that. Put it under, then over, grab it, bring it through, and just turn it until the hook is facing the sky. And it'll It'll twist it. It'll twist the yarn. So it'll twist it like that. And now this is this is the tricky part. So I still have it in there, and I'm with my hook hand. I'm gonna grab all of that. I'm gonna grab this and that strand. Grab it all there. Remove my fingers, and carefully I have that hook pinched. So I have both both of those in my hand. I'm gonna tension. However you tension your, your yarn, like when you crochet. And now you have this ring. You have this loop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one. Thank you, Thunder. I need a better hat. I gotta make it a, a different hat. I wonder what I need to do. Where's the where's the emote? Oh, it won't do that emote. Dang it. Okay. Oh, you can hopefully you can hear it. Wait, where's the thing?
Thank you, Thunder. Thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> wow. Okay. Now we're back, and now we're back to Funky Town. <sighs> so, Mickey, to answer your question, that is what the duck is. Where was I? Where was I? Okay. We're going to get back to the magic ring. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> we're back to this. <laughs> Wrap it around your fingers, put your thumb on the X, turn, secure it between your fingers. Under the first hook, under the first hook, yes, you're going to put the hook under the first hook. Under the first strand and over the second, bring it through and turn. And I even put, put it further onto my hook and grab it, pinch all of that. That and that strand. So all of that, remove your fingers, stretch your fingers, and now we're going to tension it. You're gonna hold it the way you would normally crochet, and I'm gonna chain one. That is the magic ring. That itself is the magic ring. Now we're gonna work into the magic ring, and depending on your pattern, you're gonna have different number of stitches. If you're going to do like a double crochet, a single crochet, I've already chained one. That's enough. If you're going to do like a, a half double or a double, you might chain more. So depending on the pattern, it'll tell you how many to chain. To chain. And again, in crochet, there are no set, set rules. There are guidelines. So however many you want to chain is up to you. I would recommend following the pattern because a lot of, not all, but a lot of patterns are written and usually they should be thoroughly tested. That's not always the case. And they will give you the best, uh, best results. So to work on that, and what I just did here is I untwisted this. It was all twisted. I tw untwist it. There's a reason I untwist it. And I'll explain that in a second. So I'm going to put six stitches into this ring. So you want this ring to be large. So I'm going to do single crochet. So I'm going to go into the ring. And it's going to go under both strands. So there's the ring and the tail. You want to go under both of these strands. Yarn over and bring it up. And then you're going to do your single crochet. So you've had, nothing else has changed. You're just going into this ring. So I'm going to do six of them. Three, four, five, and six. All right. This is the reason why I untwisted all of it. Because sometimes it can get hung up. It can get hung up. I like to untwist it so it, we don't have any issues with it. So we have our six stitches. I'm going to hold in my hook hand all of my stitches. And we're only going to focus on the tail. We're not going to focus on the ring. And we're not going to focus on the ball yarn. Only on the tail. It's important to hold your stitches kind of firmly. Because if not, it's going to go flying across the room. And if that's your goal, have your yarn go flying across the room. But that's not my goal. So I'm going to grab the tail. Yes, everybody grab your tails. We are 18 plus. So grab your tail. And when we grab our tail... Again, we're holding firmly in with our hook hand, and we're going to grab our tail, and you'll notice that loop is getting cinched up. That's why it's magic. And you're going to pull, 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 and pull kind of tight. You don't want to break your yarn. And you have made your first round into whatever you're doing. You don't have to pull it all the way tight when you first do this. You can do a couple more rounds, and actually, you could do your entire piece depending on what you're making. But I would go a couple, maybe two or three rounds, and then fully tighten up your mat, your tail, and then you can weave this in when you're done. And then you keep going depending on what your pattern is. So that is the magic ring. The magic ring is just that, so you can have a drawstring and you don't have an open hole. The alternative would be to do a series of chains 
slip stitch into your very first one that you made to form a ring, but it's not going to really cinch up. So you're, you're still going to have a little bit of a hole. This way you can get something that has no hole in the center. And it is great. This is great. You're going to use the magic ring in Amigurumi. When I started this piece here, that right there, that's the magic ring. That is the magic ring. This one here, there's the magic ring. This one, there's the magic ring. You're going to learn how to fly. Flap those wings. I am a duck. <laughs> but hopefully that made sense, not the mama. And um, I can always demonstrate that again. I can always demonstrate it anytime. Again, when I'm on, regardless of what I'm doing, I do other stuff besides crochet. I do um, needle tatting. I've done needlepoint, which I've got a needlepoint piece I started back in the winter. Uh, what else have I done on stream? I've attempted to learn how to knit. Mm. But I've done other stuff. But regardless of what I'm doing, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. If I'm sitting here twiddling my thumbs, at any time you can always ask anything about crochet. Because that is my main, my main hobby. But hopefully that under that made it made sense. And and I have a YouTube channel. It just popped up there. Uh, all of my streams are I upload them to the YouTube channel unedited. I do no editing. When Twitch when the stream is done, I click go into Twitch and I click the little thing and it to fill out a little description and it goes it uploads to my YouTube. You can go back and watch all of my streams. I don't know how I've got to have well over 200 by now. Um, even though this one isn't going to be labeled teaching the magic circle, I don't know if I have anything teaching magic circle, but you can go back and, and look at anything that has been on stream. Knitting is harder than crochet. I think it is. I think it is because you've got the two needles and I, I, I feel like when I knit, because I don't have enough experience. But I feel like when I knit, I feel like a baby horse just learning how to walk. I'm very awkward and yeah. Hey there, Catherine. Welcome in. How are you? How are you doing? Okay, where was I? Where was I? We're doing pretty good here. We're just a little quacky. <laughs> um, we are going to attempt to make more of this um, Garden Fairy Garden Fairy, that's what it is Garden Fairy um, This is from and Nightbot, we're on the same, same wavelength Me and Nightbot, we're like, we're like that um, That is the link to the book This is a physical book Physical copy, physical book called uh, Crochet Magical Creatures by Drew Hill. Drew used to stream here on Twitch under the name Drewby Zoo. I haven't shouted him out in a while. Again, he doesn't stream here anymore, but I can still shout him out. Um, and uh, he is primarily on Twitch and Instagram, not Twitch, TikTok. Um, he has designed every pattern in this book. If you're new to Amigurumi, I highly, highly recommend using any of his patterns because they are very well written. Very well written. I'm not going to, um, tell the entire pattern here because I can't because it's a paid pattern but for instance for these here I, I'm gonna I'm, I'll give you the first two rounds it it's not going to give anything away but you do a magic ring six singles in the very first ring 
and it says how many stitches you're doing. Six stitches. And then the next one, you're going to do a single crochet in each stitch around, and you should have six. So, it will, his patterns, the way they're written, are very easily digestible. Um, out of 10, where would you rate your cro crochet skulls that I've seen? Blue? You're like an eight or a nine. You're, you're, you're really up there. And I'm not just saying that to be nice. You have blue's tension is, it's great. Very even tension and clear defined stitches. And also blue likes to stitch with a tiny, tiny hook, regardless of the yarn. Like, insane. What is it, a two and a half millimeter hook? And I'm using a three and a half millimeter hook right now. Think if I drop a stitch, how do you get it back? I know how to frog out a mistake. Oh, wait, wait. Are you talking about knitting? Or are you talking about crochet? Because crochet, you don't really drop a stitch. Uh, and how to frog out a mistake. Fix it. Um... Love, love it that I put my Amazon shopping cart to buy later. I'm pretty new to crochet. You learn crochet in February. Okay, Catherine, yes. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. And you know what? We can thumb through this real quick, just so you can get an idea of what is in this book. And I've already made five of these pieces. I'm going to be making everything. I got to grab, I got to stretch. Got a stretch. Oh, yes, knitting, knitting, yes. I, I don't know how to fix a, a drop stitch in knitting. I, I can barely knit. All right, so I'm going to show the first five that I have made. The uh, There's 20 in here. There's 20. And uh, we're going to be making all of them. And I can show the pictures. So the first one is a dragon. And this is my version of it. I didn't do it purple. Hey, uh, wow, Reese is on a three-stream streak. Welcome in. Um, thank you, Reese. So my version, I did a green and pink because I didn't have the exact colors. And I didn't want it all purple, which is nothing wrong with purple. I love purple. I can tell you how to fix a drop stitch and knitting as you've been knitting for over 15. Yes, Catherine also streams. Blue, can we get a shout out for Catherine197? Um... But uh, this is the first one that I made in the book. I'm going in order of the book. And these, uh, I didn't have safety eyes at the time. Let's, sit, let's watch the, the clip. Um, Catherine one nine seven. Um, you do it all. You do it all. You uh, you diamond paint. You crochet. You knit. Um, let me catch up. Let me catch up with chat. Uh, and also, Catherine one nine seven was part of the raid train, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you, that was that was from the raid train. So everybody, go and follow Catherine. And if you want to know about um, knitting, uh, she can help you, or they can help you. I don't know either. Uh, so over 20 years since I learned, I just don't drop stitches. If I do, rip up to the point where you where you draw. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's probably what I would have to do. And I would get fr frustrated. I wouldn't even know how to, how to, like, get them back on to my needles because I'd have a mess. <laughs> um, but yes, I did um, the, the dragon. I did little um, crocheted eyes. Hey there, Saucy Lita. Welcome in. Uh, you know, fix it without froggy. When I get to that point, Catherine, I might have to uh, pick your brain for some of that. Again, I just know the knit stitch and the pearl stitch. Not to the... Like, I'm very... 
I don't know how to increase or decrease the knitting. Uh, thank you, thank you. So this is uh, the dragon from this book. So I did the dragon. And uh, one of my followers gifted this to me. This was on my Amazon wish list. So what else did we do? We did, the next one was the catacorn. The catacorn. And I did mine in this colorway. I had this this yarn. And I thought this looked like Neapolitan ice cream with some, like, mold. So we named him Moldy, or her. And uh, all these parts are, you make separately, and you join in. Now, I'm, I'm going to say one thing. Both the dragon and the catacorn, the wings were a little bit more advanced. They're a little bit more advanced, the way to do it. So keep that in mind. Because the way you do it is you start with three individual little pieces and you join them together and getting the stitch count. That was kind of a little tricky, but keep that. But besides that, everything else is, it's pretty easy to do. So that was, um, the, uh, yes, moldy is one of my favorites. What do we do after moldy? We made, oh, the dandelion. We did the dandelion and that was fun putting on his, his mane. That was really fun. And I like my favorite part is of his, his little tail. His little stubby little tail. So we have our little dandelion. And then we made the jackalope. We made the jackalope. Now he's a little bit taller, because obviously he's got the tall ears and the antlers. And all of them, except the dragon, have safety eyes. So I got safety eyes, and I end up using them. First time using safety eyes, and he's got a cute little little tail. Um, I've only been doing amigurumi since August, September, so I'm relatively new to it. I've been I've been crocheting for over tw for about twenty years, but I'm new to amigurumi. And if you know the basics of crochet, um, the basic stitches. And I could also show you how to do an invisible decrease. That's something um, with amigurumi that's very important to use, which will I can show you at some point. Woobles, yes, I've never used woobles, but uh, our last one that we made is a kitsune. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. This was okay to make. This was okay to make. All the parts was okay to make. This yarn's a little bit thinner than everyone else, because he, he, so he's shorter. But I got tired of making all of these tails. And st putting them on was not difficult. I'm just tired. I was tired of make, making nine tails. I had to make nine separate tails, plus the arms and the legs and the ears. So there's a lot to this little guy. I'm probably never going to make him again. <laughs> probably not going to make him again. <laughs> Cuz it's just it's just so much. And I didn't I didn't have like an orange. I had this reddish brown color. So that is why that is that color. Let me catch up with chat. Uh two and a half millimeter hook and, and every now and then three and a half. Two and a half hook gives more challenge with your body <laughs> sight. Yes. Yes. Uh you know the basics. They are very cute. They are very cute. So we can thumb through the rest of the book. So what I am currently working on now is the Garden Fairy. So that is the one we're working on at the moment. And I don't even know what's next. We'll thumb through all of them. Then there's the mushroom. The mushroom is super cute. I like the mushroom. Uh, can you make one with 22 tails, please, so it can be in black? I'm okay with crocheting in black yarn. I have no problem with black yarn. I got plenty of light here. I don't want to do all those tails. And then... Yes, a mushy. Yes, mushrooms are fun. And then we're going to be doing a flying pig. Flying pig. I know one of my followers would love this. She loves pigs. So we've got a flying pig we're going to do, and then what else is next? We're going to do a little gnome. I like the gnome. What I'm thinking about 
is making this. When I, I'm going to make it, I'm probably going to end up probably making more in all different color clothing. And I don't, well, these are going to be sizable. They're probably going to be about that big. So they're going to be large. But if I can find some thinner, I do. I've got thinner yarn and I might even try to attempt to make this in crochet thread, the thread you use to make doilies, to do little tiny ones. And maybe depending on how big they are, they might be Christmas ornaments. Because my best friend who comes into time to time loves gnomes. Yeah. Two and a half millimeter hook. Yes, yes. Now, when I do ammies, when I do ammies, I use worsted weight yarn. I don't use anything. And that's what it mentions in here is worsted weight yarn. And I use a three and a half millimeter hook. I don't know what Drew, Drew was, is, is suggesting a four and a half. I use a three and a half. I like it, the tighter stitches. But you can still get tight stitches no matter what hook you use. But I like the smaller stitches. And then we're going to do a Cyclops. He's cute. He's cute. And what else? Let's see. Let's see what's this in the book. An ogre. I have yarn for this. I have yarn. I'm looking at it right now. My yarn is going to be a little bit lighter, but I've got definitely have yarn set aside for the ogre. Who else do we have? We've got a Yeti. They're all adorable. They're all super, super adorable. And an o a Kraken. Or an octopus. A Kraken. I don't know what color I'm going to do mine in. And a Loch Ness Monster. So they're all mi magical, mythological creatures. A mermaid. My friend who loves gnomes, her daughter, will probably be getting one of these. My friend, Clay Miko. You've seen Clay Miko on my channel. Most of you have. Or some of you have. Uh, she crochets. So I might have to lend her this book so she can do this. Um, she likes mermaid. She's she's a Disney fan. She loves Little, Little Mermaid. So I can see this done in Little Mermaid colors. There's the mermaid. What else do we have? A hippocampus. The hippocampus is cute. A pegacorn. A pegacorn. And what else do we have? A griffin. I like the griffin a lot. I can't wait to do the griffin. And it's the same type of wings, I think, as the dragon and the catacorn had. And what else? Where else are we? Where else? Uh, Phoenix. Back. Had to fix your yarn. Super knotted. Needed to get it rolled up. Welcome back. Welcome back. So we have a phoenix. And then at the end, technically there's like 20 ones because there are 21 in here. This is one pattern, but they're um, cloud sprites. So those are kind of cute. And I think that's the last one. But yeah, that's the last one. So I will be making all of them that are in the book. Let's get all of my little friends. Oops. All my friends out of the way. But yes, welcome back, Mickey. Welcome back. Okay. Where was I? Oh, I haven't even started. <laughs> We're going to bring some music back. Oh, and in about 30 seconds, we're going to go to ad. So, <laughs> everybody, everybody, take this time to do uh, some self-care. And we will be back. I'm so sad I gave up my temperature blanket like literally a month ago. You can always go back to it. Keeping track was hard. Mickey, 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 Mickey. When we get back from our ad, I can show you how I keep track of it. So if it's something you want to get back to, I can show you how I keep track of it, of mine. And I mine's not even finished. So, um... You don't see the ad notes? That's fine. That's fine. It's no problem. We will be back in about three minutes.
Uh, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, oh, timer's gone, so I can remove that. Um, let me catch up with chat. Let me catch up. Um, yes, you can always go back to older webs. Always do that, or what I always say. And I don't know if there's anybody in here that knows what I always say. Crochet, and probably knit too, is not permanent. Meaning, you could take something that you've made previously, and you could frog it out and reuse the yarn. So if you end up making something you don't like, you could always salvage it. Same thing if you go to like a secondhand store, and you find decent blankets or whatever made, um, and the yarn's in decent shape, you could always salvage that. It's a good way, it's a good way to get new materials for a better price sometimes. So it all depends on the secondhand store you go to. Um, unfinished temperature blanket from 2018. Yeah, I've got one from 2023. We got seven, we got 12 rows, 12 rows. I think I have 12 rows left. I need to do it. Um, are you back? If you're back, Mickey, um, I can show you how I do, how I track, track my, uh, temperatures for temperature blanket. Person in your fiber group, still finishing a temperature blanket from last year. She streams on Twitch, but won't tell me her handle. Wow. Wow. That's, that's weird that they won't tell you their name. Hmm. But yes, I frog so many projects and so many pieces that, um, it's all about reusing, reusing the things that you make. Or reusing thing, reusing items that you don't need anymore. That's kind of, kind of what I was going with. All right. So, but yeah, when Mickey comes back, I can show how I track, um, temperatures for a temperature project. And, uh, it's an hour in and let's, uh, let's actually do some of this project. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. So what is everybody uh, working on? Excuse me. I'm drinking some Diet Coke, so I'm, a little, I'm trying not to belch and be rude on camera. Just found out we both streamed like two weeks ago. She said we should trade handles, but then she forgot. It happens a lot. I texted, but she herself admits she's also an answering. Ta ah, ah. All right. Ah. Check chat in one second. I want to get this round started. Get my stitch marker. Uh, watch the video you posted. I think my prices might be too expensive, but I followed their example, which is not far off what it is where you live. Yeah, yeah. And if you think, if you think that the prices that you've come up with, with that, with that video, if they're too expensive, just adjust it a little. You can like knock it down a little bit. It's very much what she does and trying to schedule time for her to do my hair a couple of months. Ah, ah. You're doing a king size blank blanket and an, and a shawl. Nice. I've got a, uh, my temperature blanket that has been on hold since. December. It's probably a queen. Even though I have a king size bed myself, I didn't want it to be too big because I have made a king size blanket before and it's too heavy. It's too heavy to use. I ended up giving it to my parents and they use it when it's very cold. Um, I've got a shawl that I'm working on. And I can show you that real quick. Now, this pattern is a free pattern. The shawl pattern is a 
It's free. It's in my Discord. It's called the Fluffy Meringue Shawl on... Is it Yarn Inspirations? No, Ravelry. Ravelry. It's on Ravelry. And uh, I've made this many, many times. Last year, I made it five times. I made this shawl five times. I used it in a... It's an, it was acrylic, but a roving style acrylic yarn. The first three were... Um, um, one colorway, and then the other two were a different colorway, but one was for an adult and one was for a child, and those were for my best friend and her daughter. But uh, this is the pattern, and uh, I this is this time I'm doing it in cotton. So this is in cotton, and uh, I'm really really liking love this pattern. It's a four row repeat. You can make it as big as you want. So. Uh, on Ravelry, um, and I can show you the picture. I can show you the picture of if I can find it here. Where is my display capture? This is the pink one. I did three of these. I did three of these. Um, one for my mom, one for my sister, and one for my aunt. So it's the exact same pattern, but this is in, um, acrylic roving yarn. Acrylic style roving yarn. And then in the same thing, this is a progress picture. This was the one for my best friend. And her daughter. So there was, they have matching ones. My, my daughter, my best friend's daughter is what? She'll be four in December. So obviously it's a smaller version. And I love, love working with, um, roving style yarn. Love it. But I can show you, uh, oops, 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 oops. Move this over the way. But, uh, that is what, Okay, I got to get the zoom thingy. Let's zoom out a little bit. So this is a this is all I have so far. I've only got 1 2 3 4 5 6 repeats done. But uh uh show it again. I got one of the yarn kicks that says complete shawl, we shall see. Purple into white. Oh, that's going to be very pretty. It's going to be super super pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Um this is Karen Cakes. Karen Cotton Cakes. That's what I'm doing. So I might have to use two of these. Maybe. We'll see. We will see. But that's just something I was doing last week when I wasn't feeling well. Something to keep take my mind off of things. And uh, I've gotten to the point I don't need to look at the pattern anymore. I, I know what to do on each round or, or each row. But, uh, that's, let's zoom in a little bit. Shawl and one. Oh, I'm not familiar with shawl and one. For example, if I follow their example, I'll be charging. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, um, okay, Blue, I think what you're probably going to have to do is kind of just like estimate the time that it takes you to make it. Because I know it's going to probably take you a while to make it. But kind of just get an estimate and kind of, yeah, that, that is very, very high for one coaster. Yeah, nobody's going to, nobody's definitely going to pay that much. You probably kind of want to play around with the numbers. Let me check something. Okay, I was looking, looking at the other screen. All right, so where was I? Oh, I'm working on the hair cap. So the main hair, which is something I can't relate to. Single the next stitch increase. Okay. Let me... Oh, uh, Mickey said you're back, right? 
I think Mickey said you're back, that they're back. All right. So if Mickey is back, let me see if that's going to work. Uh, wait, that's not going to work. Yeah, this will work. All right, Mickey and anybody else, anybody else. So, uh, will the coaster get my drink and go? Will the coaster go get my drink and watch the glass? <laughs> yeah, for that price, it better. Um, for temperature projects, temperature projects, I use an Excel spreadsheet. Or whatever spreadsheet that you can have. I use a calendar template. And mine was for the full year. You could do it for however long. And I used weatherchannel.com. Weather Channel. And you can go back on to the Weather Channel. Let me see. Let me pull this up. I don't want to show my... Uh, um. No, no, you're fine. You're fine, not the mama. You're fine. You're fine. So, I don't think anything is showing on here. It's not going to show my address. But I use the Weather Channel, and you can go back into any day, any time, so we can choose a different year. So, like, oh, well, you can only go back so far. You you can use other services online to do, like, years well in the past. And you can tra track every month. So let's go back. We're going to do, like, January of 2023. So let's click click view. Come on. And it'll show you all of the temperatures, and you can use that. And then I just take those temperatures, and then I put them into my... Exp um, my calendar template. And I just, I fill the whole thing. I fill the whole thing. And then when I'm um, crocheting, when I get the round on or the row or whatever it is, I put a little check mark. Because they have, um, you could insert, at least on this, you can insert a special symbol. And I just use the check mark. Um, to set, tell myself that it's done. And uh, that's how I do it. I just have got to keep, just remember to keep everything in the, the temperatures. And also, also here, if you notice these colors, these colors of the numbers correspond to what color yarn I used in the blanket. So 40s were purple, 50s were blue, and so on. So that was a way that I was able to... Um, Keep track. All right. Wait a minute. What is going on with my... Okay. Let me see here. Um, it's going to charge 15 but I think that's expensive for one coaster. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe a little high. Uh, you can get you just for January so far. Haven't gotten the yarn, but you might. Yeah, yeah. I would calculate how many coasters to get from a skein. Uh, divide the price by skein. Price of skein by number created to recoup your yarn costs. Assume a rate of $5 an hour for your time. Offer rate. Offer rate is price of one coaster. Offer four for five, but it's like this guy. Yes, yes. What not the mama said. Yeah, pricing handmade items can be a little difficult. Can be, that's like the difficult part of making and creating. It's, it's trying to, you're avoiding overpricing where nobody would buy. And avoiding underpricing where you're just, not being fair to yourself. And us crafters, let me close this out. Us crafters tend often to underprice. 
we don't always think that our work is worth the amount that it should be. Right. Single the next two, increase in the net. Okay. But uh, yeah, this is the uh, the hair piece. You know what you're doing next month? Nice. I don't know what I'm doing next. Actually, no, I do know what I'm doing next month. Um, gonna let everybody know now. Oh, I've been mentioning the past couple streams. Full final, um, full announcement will be at the, um, the end of the month. But in the months of August. In September, I'm going to be running a giveaway. The giveaway will be drawn at the end of September. But to enter it, you'll have a chance to enter it in August and September. Um, it's crochet related. It's a physical item that I will send to you. But if you enter the giveaway, you have to be willing to pay for your own shipping. I can't afford shipping. Um, there'll be three winners three individual winners and uh i just ask anybody besides paying for your own shipping i also ask that you be either a crocheter somebody who wants to really learn crochet or have a close family member or close friend that crochets i don't want people just entering just because to enter and actually you know what in order to enter you have to, well, no, you don't have to crochet. I was thinking something else. No, you don't have to crochet to enter. But um, more final announcements will be made at the end of the month. And uh, I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it. All right. That was round five. Next three. Uh, four. Oh, okay. Ew. Come on. Provide f proof for fiber crafting near. Wait. Provide <laughs> proof for fiber crafting near you, meaning a close friend. <laughs> okay, you don't have to provide those proof. That proof, but I don't want this going to somebody who is not going to use it. Uh, you'll have to tune in. You'll have to tune in. Actually, you know what? You know what? Oh, wait. Oh, okay. You didn't hear. Okay. So, again, the uh, the giveaway won't start until August. You know what? You know what? I can actually announce it all here. This would be like a soft announcement. Give me a second. Let me... Uh, Let me finish this round, because if I don't finish this round, I am going to be uh, totally lost. Two, three. All right, so I have not made... All of the details yet, but I can show it now. Hey there, Fairy Dust. Welcome in. Stay lost. GP can't, GPS can't help. I'm actually I, I I'm I don't need GPS. I, I'm I'm the GPS. I have a good sense of direction. All right. So for the giveaway, and again, this is just don't you can't enter right now. Cannot enter right now. This is let me mark off my my paper. Just explaining what the giveaway is. The, uh, entries for the giveaway will start at the beginning of August. 
So first of all, to enter the giveaway, you'll have to be a member of my Discord. If you're not a part of my Discord and want to enter, I'll have to send you the link to the Discord. And not the mama is is not in the Discord because I think you're a new a new viewer. I can send you the the link when I get a chance. So you have to be part of my Discord. There will be a channel in my Discord. It's not there yet. There'll be a channel for the giveaway. And what you're going to end up having to do is you have to post a picture, a progress picture, or a finished piece, hopefully a finished piece, and you have all of August and all of September to do it. Drawing for the giveaway, I think, is going to be at the very end of September. I think the last Sunday, whatever that day is. Let me check. What is the last day of September? The 29th. The 29th of September on my stream, I'll do the drawing. There'll be three winners. Which, what you're going to end up posting is your, and it be whatever medium. It could be crochet. It could be painting. It could be photography. It could be anything. Your interpretation of fall or Halloween. Okay? Something that you, when, that you would interpret fall or Halloween. And again, you can't enter it now because there's no place to enter it. Even if you're part of my Discord, there's no place to put it. So that is what you would you would do to enter. And I will pick names at random. Okay, you want the Discord? I can, let me let me get the get you the Discord link right now. Uh, I'm going to send you a, um, I'm going to follow you, and I'm going to send you a whisper, not the mama. I sent you a whisper to my Discord. I had to make it invite only because um, I had some issues with, with Discord. I might be able to put it back in the general chat soon. Um, so what you would, uh, diamond painting, yes, diamond painting would work, watercolor would work, whatever your medium is. But remember, to win this, I would want you or somebody really close to you to cro to know how to crochet or want to crochet. So, the winner, the, pro the, the giveaway pieces, and again, you'd have to pay for your own shipping. I can't afford shipping. So, and I gotta wipe off the dust. Wow, I gotta wipe, wipe off the dust. So, the prizes, they're all the same prize, but they're slightly different. So, to win for what you would win on the giveaway when that time comes, I'm going to pick names at random. Once everybody is in there, I'm going to get out the wheel. I'm going to spin everybody's name on the wheel and spin it. So, no, there's no, like, rigging, no favorites or anything. And what you could win is a Woobles kit. I have three Woobles kits. They're Halloween themed. So the first one is a bat. You can win a bat, a, a Woobles bat kit. And this includes the, um, all of the yarn, the safety eyes. I think, the, I think it comes with the yarn needle, um, and the hook. Crochet hook, plastic yarn needle, plastic eyes, the stuffing, the instructions, a pre-started, uh, video instructions and all of that. So that's for one is a bat. The next one is a ghost. And the third one is the Frankenstein. The Frankenstein is super cute. So again, you can't enter now. There's no place to enter. There is no place to enter. But when that is open, the end, um, beginning of August, beginning of August, I will, uh, um, we'll have that in my Discord and make the official announcement on my stream and everything. Um, what I'm going, going to do, this is what I'm going to end up doing for this to make this fair. We're going to spin the wheel when we pick winners at the end of September. I'm going to put all of these in a big bag. I'm going to put them in a bag, and I'm going to reach in at random and pull one out. And then we're going to spin the wheel. So it's not like, oh, Catherine won, and oh, I'm going to give her the bat, and then I'm going to give Blue Raven the goat. No, we're not doing that. No. So it's going to be totally blind, and I'll do it here on stream, 
And so that is what you could win. You can win one of these Wooble kits. Um, I've never used, I've never done a Wooble kit. Uh, I would send a photo of how I interpret Halloween, but I don't think my photo of my mom would win anything. Wow. Wow, Blue. Wow. Wow. Been interested in trying Woobles? Yes. So you might be end up be able to win one of these. The reason I'm having it done in August and September, so it'll be enough time to get to you. Now, if you're international, it might take a little while, but also it'll give you enough time to make it for Halloween. So I didn't want to they don't want to do it for October because then it'd be over with. So that is what the giveaway will be. Bray does tons of wobble kits. Yes. Bray crochet. Um, let me get. We're going to shout out Bray. So, uh, Bray Crochet, she loves doing wibbles. She does wibbles on her stream all the time. So, um, um, if you have any questions about wibbles, go and follow her, follow her and also talk to her about it. She, she pops into my stream, um, often. She would, she, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to name her the Woobles Queen. She is the queen of the Woobles. Um, I had an idea, which I'm going to send you a DM. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. But yeah, that is pretty much what's going to be happening on, um, um, for the giveaway. So you could win. And I want to thank, and she's not here right now. I need to thank Clay Miko. Clay Miko, uh, months ago, months ago, um, gave me those Wooble kits. And, uh, when she gave them to me, I'm like, I, I know what I'm going to do. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Those are going to be, be for a giveaway. I've never done a giveaway before. So it'd be my very first one. But again, you'd have to be willing to pay for your own shipping. And, um, and they don't weigh that much. These are pretty light. Does it give a weight? Probably not. Why would it give a weight? I mean, food items give, have weights, but these don't have a weight. But they're very light. But, um... And I will... I will get the smallest packaging. We're gonna... We're not gonna get a big, huge box. I don't wanna... Because... Shipping... Shipping rates are expensive. But, again, you pay for your own shipping, and... Um... You'd have to, uh be a crocheter to do it. Welcome back, Lovey. Welcome back. How are you? And I know... And they're not in here at the moment. That was three. I got to catch up with... check. Well, not catch up. Check my uh, pattern. And I know if Clenzie was here, he'd be all over that because Clenzie... Wants to learn. Wants a woobles. They don't have woobles in in Finland. Uh, you're ill. Oh, I'm sorry that you're ill. You ate ate your fish and rice. Or I, I keep getting sidetracked of what, um, what round I'm on. Thanks for the Discord invite. I uh, got you on the phone again. Now I can go work on this blanket. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, and, welcome, and again, welcome in and welcome into the Discord. Two, three, four. Two, three, 
Maybe, maybe I will finish one little piece of this, uh, this garden fairy. This is her hair. This is the main part of her hair that I'm going to be, be uh, attempting to do. Okay, five. Okay, the next round's the last round I got to count. Love already night to end this drought. Yeah. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Just ended three days rain from the hurricane. Oh wow, wow! Did you get any uh, any damage? I know my friend lives southeast of Houston, and uh, the only damage that he got was their fence was destroyed, and they've got one of those uh, canopies, those freestanding patio canopies, and they got all twisted, and maybe a couple shingles. Might have been uh, damaged. Send me a DM. Okay, yeah, I can check that later. Heavy raining and thunder and lightning on. Oh, wow. 30 minutes of rain. Oh, yeah. You need you need the rain fairy dust. No, uh, but are sheep are looking for float looking for flotation devices. You're in central Illinois. Yeah, yeah. It tracked it tracked that way. You have sheep. I am, uh, I'm a novice. Sheep and dog. I'm a novice yarn spinner. I have two electric spinning wheels and a, um, drop spindle. And I've only ever really spun, um, acrylic fiber. Because I got some cheap stuff at the craft store a while ago. And was just practicing with it. It's actually was roving yarn. And uh, I've never really spun uh, sheep's wool. Next one, I'm going to play games, just chatting, creating songs, continue with one of my books, food streaming, Q&A, watch me struggle in Duolingo in German. Wow. Crochet dog's head, eyeball, granny square, pumpkin, plan one of my strings. Yeah. Blue Raven, you're always doing something. Always doing something. Mel's farm, head goats. Cows and chickens. Nice. Love spinning yarn with a drop zone. Yeah, I've, I have, I've only ever practiced with it. We have sheep. We have haired sheep. Oh, yes. They don't get sheared. sheared. Yes. The hair just falls out like a dog. Yes. Oh, mother-in-law. Mother-in-law. Okay. I learned about haired sheep. There is a YouTube channel that I watch called the 10 Acre Wood. Um, they are in Manitoba, Canada. It's a hobby farm. And they take in animals that are rescues or at the end of their life. And they do foster some animals. And uh, they've got all different types of animals, you name it. Uh, and they have one-haired sheep. They've got, they got other um, traditional wool sheep, but they do have a haired sheep. Uh, that's just for the crazy stream. 30-hour, yeah, 30-hour stream. That is insane, Blue. Six hour stream is insane for me. Gonna have to have a broken crocheting. Yeah, yeah. Lovey, that, that top that you made was gorgeous. And I can understand needing a break. I can totally understand needing a break because you can easily get burnt out. Sandy Brock, sheepishly me is the best. I'm not familiar with, with that. Two, three, 
were five. But on my stream, we have watched videos from that YouTube channel, the Ten, the ten Acre Wood, about um, the about the process of shearing. I find that all fascinating. YouTube sheep farmer, she has helped me save an other sheep. Oh, huh, sheeplessly me. I'm gonna have to. Uh, um, if you want, if you're able to, if you can, that's fine. If you can put the link in the chat for that channel, um, I will have to check them out. Okay, that is round seven. Yeah, thank you, if you can. If you can. I love... I love those types of channels. But yeah, I, years, a couple years ago, maybe about two or three years ago, I stumbled across the 10 acre wood and I, I don't know how I came across it. And I've been watching their, their videos ever since. They open up their farm to the public and they do like goat yoga and they host, you, you can have a birthday party there or a wedding. And so they have, a, they have a garden as well. They've got all different animals. They've got horses, uh, like miniature, not miniature. They're smaller ponies. They've got goats, sheep. They have an alpaca, tons of chickens and ducks and guinea fowl and peacocks and three pigs. What else do they have? They had a turkey, but the turkey died. They had three other alpacas, but they died too. All right. Let me... Oh, wait, wait, wait. All right. I am following those. You're going to get back in bed? Okay, Lovey. I hope you feel better. I hope you feel better. Goat yoga. Do the goats wear yoga pants? Yes, yes, the goats wear yoga pants. Goats free pee. Hope they wear diapers. <laughs> Actually, no, they don't. They don't put. They don't put the. Uh, they don't put them in diapers. Depends. <laughs> Hey, you're on the farm, and it's it's part of it. Part of it. It's all part of it. Yeah, fairy dust is a riot. <laughs> but it's cool that you have sheep and donkeys. That's pretty cool. You love your sheep. They're sweet. Yeah. Hey there, Dub D Mo. How are you? Welcome in. I am. Uh, I'm making hair. Yes, this is hair. I'm making hair for this garden fairy. Believe it or not. No, not for me. I'm not making a toupee. One of your donkeys ate a cucumber today. Your favorite fatty. Oh, <laughs> that is so cute. I don't want this song. What I need to do... All right. Hooks, hooked, engaged, lurking. That's great. That I, I love lurkers that are... Uh, that are lurkers in period. Period. But uh, if you're working along, that's fine. You don't have to always interact. Even if you don't want to interact at all, I encourage everybody to uh, get out your 
tools and supplies and work on something and just relax. Co they call it co-streaming. I learned that. I learned that from from Twitch months ago. Yes, heart. And if you're new here, I am an 80s fan. Back when I was a little kid, my favorite decade in music, even the cheesy stuff, even the really cheesy stuff, it is, I listen to it all the time. You're back on your iPad, I'm working on a diamond painting called Peaceful Tie-Dye by Shay Pike. Nice! Nice. Tie-dye is really cool. I've only ever tie-dyed once. Thank you for the unlock, Zick Zick. Welcome back. I've only ever tie-dyed once in high school. My senior year. Um, well, in high school, and I don't know how it is everywhere, but in my school district, well, actually in my state, you had to have X amount of credits in different subjects to graduate. Well, I got my, f you had to have, however, I don't remember how many in fine arts. And I got most of them early on before my senior year. And again, the senior year, and I needed, and you, you could have like miscellaneous, whatever, extra, just to fill the day. And I, I needed an extra class, so I took a crafts class. Yes, I took a crafts class in, in high school. We didn't do any crochet. We didn't do any of that. What did we do? I only remember two things that we did. We had to have done more because it was a half a year. But we did basket weaving. That was really, really fun. That was really fun. Like, you had, like, the, it was, I, I don't know what the material was, but it, was, it wasn't willow. It was, like, I guess it was, like, wood, really thin strip. Well, actually, we still have had the basket. Um, that was fun to do. Kind of. Kind of. Forgot, I don't, yeah. A and um, some of it was dyed. We didn't do the dyeing of that. It was already pre-dyed, and we got to choose whatever colors we wanted. I picked some red, some green, and the natural. And I ended up making a basket and a little placemat for my mom for Christmas that year, and I put, like, herbal teas in it. Um, you're off to bed? All right, get some sleep. Um, let me see here. That's what we use where I went to school in Central Virginia. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to go down and check. I think it's downstairs. No, it no. I think it's in the attic. Maybe the next ad break. The next ad break. I'll go in in the. It's easy to get into the attic. It's not a bad. It's not like I have to go up ladders or anything. So I might go and look, and I can see if we have it. Anyway, well, part of the well, the basket, part of the basket, the handle of the basket broke. But anyway. The, that's the point. So we did that, and then we did tie-dye. And I don't have the tie-dye anymore. Um, it was not only tie-dye, but it was um, using the technique of batik with the wax resist, where you take uh, hot wax and you put it on the fabric and you let it harden, and then you dye it. And then after it's dyed... You then uh, remove the wax and then dye it again or whatever, or however we did it. That was kind of fun. That was really fun. And I can smell the hot wax right now. And that was <laughs> a couple decades ago. More than a couple decades ago, but we're not going to talk about that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, when I go to... Uh, do the next ad. We've got a flower arrangement in it. And yes, I've done flower arranging, not on stream, 
I would love to do flower arranging on stream, but I'm trying to figure out my setup. I have something that might work, but I have to play around with lighting and I wouldn't really be able to see the stream so much. I've made wreaths and different types of arrangements. I love doing that. It's silk, silk flower arrangement. I don't do live. In fact, today I put our summer wreath that I made on the front door. I don't have to take a picture. Actually, I have a picture of it somewhere. That's what we'll do. When we get back from the ad, we'll show some of that. Tag with the crochet. But that is why I'm the crafty cub and not the crochet cub, because I do other things besides hooking. We're making cob ray range flowers for the next raid train. You know what? Thunder of Dragons. If I can get a setup, if I can get a setup for it, I'm that that sounds like something that could could be could possibly happen. I would love to do that. Because that's not as... I mean, I don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I love my crochet. But those of us that crochet and knit, you know, you got to count. And if you're not, it's going to be throw everything off. And it's not going to look right. Because unless you're doing freeform crochet or knitting. But with floral arrangements and wreaths and all of that, it doesn't have to be, it's not that technical. So yeah, actually, I got I to gotta work on that. I got to work on my setup. It's hard to count stitches on stream. Yes, that is why when I was doing this, most of this was already pre-done. And most of my stream, I was putting the body parts on. <laughs> That's why I like this round. The rounds I'm doing right now, there's no counting. I love those rounds where I can just mindlessly, mindlessly stitch. I did okay considering the circumstance. You did great on your uh, on your 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 slots. You, uh, Thunder of Dragons had two slots on the raid train, and you did great. That um that wall hanging you did turned out amazing. And when we get back from the ad, we've got an ad coming up in about seven or eight minutes from now. We'll check over in the Discord. I think you posted it in my Discord. And I I think I'm going to end up doing that wall hanging, even though I don't live in the mountains. But Maryland has mountains. Most people don't, don't think of, of Maryland having mountains, but we do out in the western part of the state. Uh, send me your address for the postcard. Oh, yeah. Did, yeah, I think Catherine was one of the winners of that giveaway. I won that giveaway. I'm going to get a, a postcard from Thunder of Dragons. You do? Do you want me to throw the pattern in your Discord? Yes, yes. If you don't mind, um, I have a um, patterns channel over on the Discord. That would be a great place. And anybody else that have patterns of any sort, it doesn't have to be crochet. I know there's a lot of crochet and knit stuff over there, but any any art form is, is allowed over in the Discord. doesn't have to be just fiber arts. Patterns, anything you're working on, any of that. It doesn't even have to be a project you're working on. Like it's... If you want to share pictures of your vacation or anything or your local area or just something really interesting. Uh, I know I put the crab hat. Yes, yes, yes. And um, 
you taught me Thunder of Dragons. You you taught me was it last night? Yeah, last night. Thunder of Dragons has this deck of um, postcards from the national parks, and she's got a they have a redeem where you could redeem a fact or something. And they show off the uh, the postcard, and the one that I ended up getting was this national park that I never even heard of before. Z. Z has a redeem. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, so spam you with 150th Colorado landscape photos. <laughs> if you want to. If you want to. <laughs> That's what it's for. <laughs> okay, that is round number eight. How many rounds? I gotta go. No. That is round 13. Black, yes, Black Canyon of the Gunnison. Didn't even know that that was a national park. Did never heard of it before. And I have a book on national parks, but I think the book might have be older than when that national park was formed. Didn't you say that was formed sometime in the nineties as a national park? I mean, the land formed it was it formed in the nineties, but establishing in ninety nine. Yeah, I think think the book I have is earlier than that. Sometime in the 90s, I think the book is from. I've always been... And that's something you might not know about me. That everybody might not know about me. I am a geography nerd. Even as a kid, I've always been into geography. I collect... My nickname was, in, in the family, jokingly, was Map. I would... Um, plan the route for our family vacations before there was digital digital devices and digital and Google Maps and all of that. Shenandoah was in the 30s. Yes, and yeah, we learned that um, Thunder of Dragon's grandmother was born in the building that is now, is it the, the headquarters for Shenandoah National Park? But uh, I've always collected maps. Actually, right now, Right now, my left foot is resting on a box under my desk that it's a, like a plastic type little file box. And that is all of my roadmaps. Maybe, maybe one stream I might show those. Not, I don't know if anybody would be interested in that, but I have always been interested in maps. Um, I have a really good sense of, I don't drive, but I have a really good sense of direction. And uh, 20 years ago, when GPS units were a, a thing, I mean, they don't even, I don't even know if they sell them anymore. When they were first becoming a thing, um, friends of mine said that they were going to look into getting a TomTom. -tom. That's a brand name. And my other friend was like, uh, we don't need a TomTom. -tom. We have a Cub Cub. They use my actual name. And uh, because um, even to this day, even to this day, I will, my friends will, especially my best friend, if there's some place that she has never been before, or even I've never even been there, she still takes me along, even if I don't need to go. If it's something she needs to do for other reasons or whatever, she takes me along just so we can get there and back. She also loves to drive. She is like the queen of, of road trips, of day trips. She does, well, we've never done an overnight day trip, which we are planning. We're possibly planning for an, a short overnight day trip. It's not that far away. And if that happens, I will take pictures of that. But, um, yeah, I've tagged along as a, a GPS. No way. It used to be our map navigator when we go to the Maryland Lighthouses. I think MapQuest was a thing. Didn't use it. One of those skills I need, like calling a place. It's place for pizza orders. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we're having an ad coming up. Thank you, Blue. Thank you. I am Tom Tom. Yes, I am Tom Tom. Sent you. Oh, okay. But um, I love I love I love a good road trip. Love a good road trip. Even if it's for the day. Love it. I'm great at 
the entertainment, this, well, this is 20 years ago, I would bring the CD wallet, the big, huge CD wallet, and organize the snacks and that. Yes, Cub Cub. Yes, I am Cub. I, I, yeah, I am Cub Cub when it comes to uh, GPS. Planning to go to the post office this weekend. Nice. Nice. But yeah, everybody, we're going to have this ad. When we get back from the ad, I'm going to go, well, we're at the ad. I'm going to go and f try to find that basket. There was something else I was going to do. Oh, I was going to show you the picture. I'm going to show you the picture. Um, but yes, everybody do some self-care. And uh, we will be back in about three minutes. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Um, let me move this. We're going to go and do see what's over in the Discord. I think there's only... Oh, no, there's a, there's two things. There's two things. Hey there, Cleanse, Lindsay. Uh, Cleanse, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to show some things in the Discord real quick. And when we get back, I have an announcement. I made it earlier. You might be interested. So hold, hold everything. Give me one, one moment. All right. So over in the Discord, we only have two things. This is from Thunder of Dragons. This is what Thunder of Dragons was doing on the raid train. Um, 
This is a crocheted wall hanging. Thunder of Dragons is in Colorado. And this definitely, definitely says Colorado. And I think, think you live near, kind of somewhat near the sand dunes. And these kind of look like the sand dunes. Oh, they could be mountains. But uh, this is really, really pretty. I want to make this or other ones. Uh, um, I, I've never done a crocheted wall hanging before. So I want to do something along these lines. I've done color work like this, but not an actual wall hanging. So isn't that pretty? It's gorgeous. Oh, you used to, used to. Okay. So that is from Thunder of Dragons. And this next one is from Witchy Weaver. Yes, still working on this stupid thing. It's almost done now. About nine more rounds till it's a queen size. It's too big to hold my lap while streaming, so I finish off stream. Pillowcase is to come after this finish. Yes, this is a granny square style blanket that Witchy Weaver is doing. And uh, it is massive. It's ma I remember them working on this on their stream. But uh, love, love a good, a good granny square or a granny project. I think that's all we have in the Discord. So I'm going to do this announcement, and then we're going to go and talk about the uh, the floor arranging thing that I was talking about. All right, so if everybody is listening in Cleansy, this is where you need to listen. So it's not going to start. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. It's not going to be open until August. So you can't do anything now. You could pre prepare now, but you can't do anything now. So during the month of August and September, you'll be able to enter this giveaway. To enter this giveaway, you need to submit into my Discord in a special channel for the giveaway, which hasn't been created yet, a your interpretation of fall or Halloween in whatever medium and art form you choose. Once all of that, you have all both of those months to, to enter, if you're going to enter, you ha first of all, you have to be willing to pay for your own shipping because I cannot sh afford shipping. I am very broke. So there is that. I know that kind of sucks. But also, you... Um, what was... what was Oh. Um, if you win, you have to either crochet or know somebody really close to you that you can give it to that can crochet. There will be three winners. So at the end of September, I'm going to spin a wheel and I'm going to pull out of a bag at random. There are three items. You crochet our, uh, of course you're, oh no, even if, no, no, I'm even broken. Anyway, so there'll be three items. There'll be three winners and I'm going to pull the item at random and spin the wheel at random. So there's no favoritism. So what you will win, what you could win, you could be the winner of a bat wooble, a ghost wooble, or my favorite, a Frankenstein wooble. So, <laughs> I knew Cleansy would be excited because <laughs> Cleansy is not able to get woobles. They don't have woobles where Cleansy lives. So, Again, you'd have to pay for your own shipping. You'd have to enter into the giveaway a picture of whatever you interpret fall or Halloween, either one, and put it into the special giveaway section on my Discord. Again, it hasn't been set up yet. It'll officially be started at the beginning of April. April 1st, I'm going to have that in the Discord. Again, you have to be part of my Discord to do that. And once I have all of the submissions, I'm going to take all the names down, put them in a, in a wheel, and spin the wheel, and at random, it'll pick. We'll do it three times. Hey there, KB Fibers. Welcome in. How are you? Uh, family is home. Gotta fly. All right. Okay. All right. Not the mama. Thank you. Thank you for being here, and welcome into my community. So... You might be able to win a Wooble. And I got to thank my best friend, Clay Miko. She uh, gave me these Wooble kits many months ago. So uh, I've never done a Wooble myself. And these all come with the materials, everything that's needed. So it's just not pieces of it. it oh, and whoever, whoever wins the ghost, it's glow in the dark. The other ones are not glow in the dark. 
but the ghost is glow in the dark. So we will have three individual winners. Um, and I'm going to do the drawing on the 29th of September. That is enough time. Hopefully it'll be enough time. Maybe. Probably not with International. But maybe enough time to get it shipped and you can actually make it. So, uh, you got home from a meeting? Nice. How was the meeting? Ghost glows. You need it <laughs> more than that. Hey, you might have a chance to win. You might have a chance to win. So, what I was going to... Sh what I went to go get while we were at our ad, we were talking about basket weaving and flower arranging. First, let me pull up this. So, I just put this on. I made this the other year. This is not a brand new thing. But the Crafty Cub does other stuff than fiber arts. The Crafty Cub is crafty. And this is what I made. I made this a while ago. This is now on our front door. I We used it last year. But, um... I just put it back on, on the door today. So this is our summer wreath. Um, these colors scream summer to me. Yellows and blues and bright. and So um, what I used to do, what I used to do was I don't hot glue. I don't hot glue everything. I can. But what I would do is I would put all of the, the flowers in there in the grapevine, grapevine, grapevine wreath and attach everything. And then when it was done, I'd take it apart. And then reuse the wreath with other artificial flowers. I'm not really doing that anymore. I'm kind of making them as one and leaving them. So, uh, yes, the Crafty Cub is crafty. So I wanted to share um, the wreath. And I do, do one for each season. So we have one for each season. I'll have to get a picture of the one that was up there that I replaced it with. Now the next one here. This is a this turn. This ties into the fall, the fall thing. And I'm going to have to probably turn my camera off. And I can't see chat at the moment. Oh, where's the thing? I can't see anything. Everything's blocking. So ignore everything in my background. Uh, you're off to bed. You're tired. Back hurts. Going to leave it tabbed up. All right, Blue. You get some rest. I hope you feel better. I hope you feel better. All right, so ignore everything in my background, but this is a flower arrangement that I made a while ago. It's not the best. It's been kind of smashed, but this basket here, this is the basket that, oh, that's not the right scene. There we go. There we go. So that is the basket. The handle broke years ago, but this is the basket that I made back when I was in high school. And uh, there was a matching placemat. And um, I made it for my mom. And I filled the basket with, um, like, assorted flavored teas. And I don't remember what else was in there. There might have been cookies or something else. And she was, I remember, this was, again, many many years ago. I remember she was so, so, so shocked when I gave it to her. But uh, it's a chunky arrangement. Yeah, it's it's enough for like a centerpiece or like a side table. So again, this is ignore the flowers. It's kind of smashed. It needs to be redone. But uh, I was just the main thing was the basket. But uh, and the backside, it's meant to go up against a wall. So it's not like something that goes that you want to see from all sides. But. Uh, let me move this out of the way. Ah! So, Thunder of Dragons, you had mentioned that, yeah, maybe on the next raid train, you might see the Crafty Cub do fire arranging. And if I can get my setup and do a, figure out an over, I can't do it here. And I really need an overhead. I do have an extra webcam. I need an overhead shot, a face camera. I don't have to have a face camera. And a like a what do you call it? <laughs> I'll have to play around with it. I'll have to play around with some setups for it. But I'd be willing to do that. And I want to do that for some of my streams also is to do some uh wreath making, 
that type of thing. I'm not, like, I didn't go to school for any of it. I just picked it up. I had an eye for it. And I learned, learned some techniques, one little cute, cool technique. When I worked, I used to work for Michael's Arts and Crafts. And at that time, they had an in-store floral designer. They don't have that anymore, but they used to have one. And they would have set arrangements that Michael's would have you make. You, you had a whole bunch of, that the designer could choose from. And then also, if you came in, you could have custom ones made. But the cool thing is, and I end up using this technique, this tool, for when my mom got married. My mom, got, my mom and stepfather got married a while ago. And I did all of the um, arrangements for their wedding, and it was tropical themed. What you do is you go to the thrift store, and you get an electric frying pan. Those of us of a certain age remember electric frying pans. I don't even know if they still make them. And you use it. You're never going to use it for food again. And you take your glue sticks. You, heat, you, you turn it on, you heat it up, and you put your glue sticks in your electric frying pan, and you let them melt. And then, as you're doing your arrangements, you dip the stems of your silk flowers into the glue and then put it into the foam and you keep going that way you're not putting the glue gun in and out and making all the stringies and everything you're still gonna get the, the stringies you have an electric frying pan and then when you're done when you're done you turn it off and let it cool it'll harden and then the next time you're going to make another arrangement you plug it in and you let it heat up and it'll melt again I learned that from Michaels. <laughs> it's probably one of the only cool things that no, I learned a lot of cool things there. But um because we were me and my it was me and two of my friends. We were mainly me and my one friend, but my other friend helped a little bit. We were making the flower arrangements. All the table centerpieces for my mom's wedding. We'd had both um topiaries. I had to find a picture of a top one of the topiaries. We had a whole bunch of different ones, and I think there was like 12 tables, 10, 12 tables. Yeah, so we had a whole um, assembly line. Sleep is over, sick child's on the count. Oh, I'm sorry that your child is sick. I hope they feel better. I hope they feel better. Yes, definitely lurk, yes. But, um... I do, I do like making arrangements. Love, love doing this. It's kind of fun. All right. Oh, and then don't get me started at Christmas time. Because the Christmas arrangements and decorating and all, it's a pain to do, lugging all that stuff out of the attic and bringing it down. But I do enjoy the way it looks. All right, where am I? Okay, we did the hair cap. We, it's taken us two and a half hours to make that. Um, okay, we're going to make these hair buns. And these are the, yeah, these are the bun thingies. 6, 12, 18, 24. Oh, okay. I love it to look at, terrible to set up. Yes, and we don't do it all, the, all every year, but we've got like, seven foot Christmas tree. We've got garland that goes up the railing and that has lights on it and poinsettias and clusters of ornaments. Um those are the main those are the main ones. Hey there Supreme, welcome in, welcome in. Um how are you? And uh, I wasn't able to watch the end of your stream, the end of the raid train. Um, if you don't know, and I think everybody here probably knows by now, but we just finished the sixth Craft and Draft Raid Train hosted by Supreme Doom 56, and, uh, she just finished not that long ago. Let me give Supreme a shout out. Let's see.
Okay, I'm not laughing at your singing. I'm laughing because <laughs> Shepard redeemed the hammer at the same time. <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. Um, train will never end. Over 1,200 new friends will be made. Will be together forever. Oh, that is amazing! Amazing, we did it. We did it. Um, yes, yeah, so we're gonna pretend that that Supreme is in that video. Yeah, I'm. I'm trying to. I mean, I don't know what Supreme looks like. But I'm just trying to imagine her in those hammer pants doing that hammer dance. <laughs> 17 months of watch time. Wow. Wow. That is insane. Um, but yes, uh, try, uh, let me catch up. Uh, stand for your national anthem. Yes, everybody should have stood. I didn't. I'm sorry. For uh, the That was the... the Supreme was singing the Canadian national anthem. Because uh, I ended up putting... Um, part of the lyrics in English into her stream, and she sang it, and then she sang it in French, and uh, somebody clipped that. Not really like MC Hammer, but <laughs> yes. Um, but yes, everybody, uh, you can, it's still available in um, my Discord, in my About section. Everybody that was in the uh, raid train, it started last Thursday morning, and it just ended not too long ago. And uh, um, everybody that was in it, their links are down below. I type in music in chat and trick me into singing. You yes, you type in anything that's in quotes as a music, and uh, she will sing. <laughs> I did it. I did it the other day when somebody redeemed her coffee redeem, and I. It was the other morning, and I said the best part of waking up is supreme in your cup, and she ended up singing it like the Folgers jingle. And that was clipped as well. <laughs> uh, but yes, welcome in Supreme and welcome in Ship. And you know what? Why the heck not? Let's give Shipwreck a shout out. Just because I'm feeling nice. Uh, but yeah, Ship doesn't really stream anymore, but uh, yes, we're going to shout you out just because I am the streamer, and I will choose who's, who, got, who I shout out. So there. <laughs> That's you. Yes, yes. Um, that was you. Uh, don't recommend shouting out, sh shouting Ship out. You might get your ears broken. That was the first time that I've seen that clip. Thank you. Thank <laughs> yes, I was singing along to Vogue. <laughs> that was the uh, the uh, the verse in Vogue where she's naming all of the uh, old Hollywood movie stars. Uh, Clint discovered I have a very loud, very wait, very loud, very pant pooping clip. I don't want to know. I don't uh, yet yeah, know. Uh, hey there, hijinks. Welcome in. Welcome. Yes, yes. Uh, you want to play too? You want to play what? 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 No, that was not Billy Joel. That was Madonna. That was Madonna. <laughs> uh, welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna announce it again because I've already announced it twice. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. You cannot enter the giveaway right now. This is just like. A soft opening for the for the giveaway. The giveaway will start um, in August, so you'll be 
You'll be able to enter the giveaway in from August to the end of September, which to enter the giveaway, and I'll, I'll show you what you're going to win after I explain the rules. Uh, it's a physical item. Uh, you forgot to end your screen. <laughs> I've done that before. I've done that before Supreme. Yeah. Go, go and end your stream. Uh, <laughs> oops. To enter the giveaway, it's a physical item. Physical item. You have to be um, willing to pay for your own shipping, because I cannot afford shipping. And you have to be either a crocheter or know somebody really close to you that crochets. To enter the giveaway, when it starts in, in August, you have to send a picture into my Discord. You could be a bit way worse since you're in your room. What? I'm confused. You have to send a picture into my Discord in a special uh, channel I will set up for the giveaway. And it'll be your interpretation of fall or Halloween in any medium. In any medium, whatever, whatever your medium of choice is, your interpretation of fall or Halloween... And the end of September, I'm going to be drawing names at random. And you could win. There'll be three winners. We'll have three winners. You could win a Bat Wooble kit. A Ghost Woobles kit. Or a Frankenstein Woobles kit. So again, when I start this in... Um, when I start the giveaway, it'll be a, a channel in my Discord. For the giveaway, you'll have to put in a picture of what your interpretation of fall or Halloween will be. And I will pick them at random. And you could get one of these. Again, you have to pay for your own shipping. I cannot afford shipping. And you have to either crochet or somebody close to you um, needs to crochet. Uh, yes, yes. So... Uh, that is what I will, I'm going to be working on here in the next week or so, getting that set up over on my Discord. But um, Wild did a thing again. Uh, what did Wild do now? Um, nearing the toes of your sock. Congratulations, Hijinks. Yes, I need, I need to work on my sock. We don't talk about my sock. Um... And you didn't tell her? Wait, what? Oh, you noticed that Supreme didn't end her stream and you didn't tell her. What? Okay, how did Wild surprise you, hijinks? I know the other day that he surprised you with, uh, what was it, the, um, the nitpicks, interchangeable um, knitting needle system. Did he get you... Uh, some more yarn. The lace interchangeable kneading set. Oh, wow. Yeah, hijinks, you are set. You are you are all set up. Yes, you have them all. You. Wow, you are spoiled. I need somebody to buy me stuff like that. I'm joking. I'm joking. I don't. Don't buy me anything. Um, sneaky. Yeah. Sneaky, sneaky. All right, let me bring the music back. Sorry, everybody. But congratulations, Hijinx. That is so cool. It's so cool that uh, he was able to do that. He was like, I have a thing coming from Amazon for my sister. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And there was a thing for his sister in it. Oh, but so were the needle. Oh, that's how he was sneaky. That is so cool. Oh, and I, I don't have what Hijinx is talking about because I don't really knit. I don't have any um, cabled knitting needles or circular knitting needles. needles but... I have some, this is a different brand. I have something that's similar. It's the same concept. But um, I have a set of cabled Tunisian hooks. So these are crochet hooks. These are knitter, Knitter's Pride. Hi, Jinx, you have what, knit picks? 
Anyway, I'm suddenly able to knit in continental style and moving a bit faster. Oh, I need to learn that. But uh, these are, um, you have the knit picks ones. Now these are crochet hooks, but let me get out a Tunisian hook. Where's my Tunisian hook? Oh, they're right here. Come on. So here's a Tunisian hook. It's a really long crochet hook with a stopper on the end. And it's kind of like, it looks like a mixture of crochet and knit. It's not really, but, um, but when you do this, you're going to have a lot of your stitches on your hook. You do, you basically you do one pass and then you do a backwards pass taking them off. Well, you're limited with the length of your hook and you can't really do really large, um, pieces on this because it's only so long. But they make cabled crochet hooks. So it's a crochet hook. But at the end here, you can screw on a cable. Now I've got a whole bunch of these cables of different lengths. And I don't know where the tool, I'm not going to get the tool out. But you screw these, let me move that together. You have the knitter's pride. Yeah, my, my, my best friend, she always enables me. She gets things and then she doesn't like them or doesn't want them. And she ends up giving them to me. So then you can screw these onto your cable. They've got little connections. And there's a little wrench you can use to tighten it. And then let me untwist this. I haven't really used these yet. And then the other end. Now, if it was a knitting needle, you'd have a knitting needle at the other end. But with crochet, you don't have a have a hook at the other end. Well, there are crochet hooks that do have hooks at the other end. And at the other end, oh, I got to take that off. The other end, you put one of these flat little stoppers. Again, you tighten it up, and you have lengthened your. Um, your hook and you can connect all of these together if you wanted something really wide and they come in again different sizes so wish you could use Tunisian hooks it kills your yeah it's a slight different way of doing it I I have noticed that from crocheting and Tunisian crocheting that it's a slight different feel of how uh, how the hooks work Uh, a lot of the stress, yeah. But um, that's kind of what what hijinks has, except mine is in the uh, the crochet form and not the knit form. But um, good congratu again. I didn't mean to steal your thunder there, hijinks. But uh, congratulations. But I am set up to do that now if I ever have the strength in your hands. Yes. Yes. All you would need, all you would need would be the uh, the crochet hooks. You wouldn't need the cables. You would need the crochet hooks that would fit onto your the cables. Because you already have the cables. Great example. Which, yes. And I don't even have a full set. I only have one, two, three, four, five, six. But eight hooks, I don't have like a wide range of sizes in those. Again, my best friend got, uh, best friend Clay Miko got them and she decided it wasn't for her. So uh, she gives them to me along with yarn and a bunch of other stuff. She's my, she's my dealer. Yes, I have a, actually, no, it's not really a dealer. I get them for free. I don't have to buy them from her. All right, where am I? We're making the, um, this is the hair for the, um, oh, is that going to be able to go on her head? Oh, yeah, I can, I can do this. This is going to be her hair. Supplier, yes, supplier. So that'll be her hair. And what I'm working on now is the buns. She's got like those, what, do they call those space buns? 
Maybe. I don't know. What do I know about hair? <laughs> oh, no. It's for this uh, garden fairy. That's what we're doing. We're doing this garden fairy. Words. I can't do. I can't do them. Come on. But yes, I um, was so happy about the Ray Train. I had so much fun, like I did, like I've done in the previous Ray Trains I've been a part of, and uh, I saw some really, really cool art and crafts, and um, wasn't able to watch everybody. I was lurking in everyone's stream, but I wasn't able to. To watch everybody and uh, I, I'm following everybody. I've everybody's been followed, but uh, I can go back and look at their VODs if they have the VODs up of what they were doing. And uh, I can't wait till the next one. I can't wait till the next one. And Thunder of Dragons earlier. Suggested something, and I think they were joking. Uh, Z were joking them, joking around. But I might end up doing it. So there is a possibility if I can get my setup and cameras the right way, we might do floor arranging. Because uh, we just showed off some of my uh, pieces that I've done. All right, so this is round three. And I bet that some of you didn't know that I've I've done floor arranging. It's just not fiber arts. Ah. Wait. I just lost count in my head. Okay. And I have done scrapbooking in the past, and I've got some supplies for it. I would love to show the one scrapbook that I made for my parents' wedding, but it's got pictures and a family mem family and friends, and I don't think they're going to want to have their pictures on the, the internet. Actually, what I could do, can't do it now, got to remember this, I'll have to get it, and I'll make, um, I'll take pieces of cardstock and just cover up the photos, it's really not going to get the, the right look to it, but you still get an idea of what I've done, that's what I could do, I can always block out the, the photos. Because I really want to show at least the cover of the scrapbook that I made. Because it is so cool. I figured it out on my own. Yeah, I was so excited about that when I made that years ago. All right. All right, let's see. Come on. All right, that is round number four. How many rounds are on this? Eight, right? Wait, yeah, eight. Mm 
five and six are the same. And I am doing the uh, the Garden Fairy from Drew Hill's book, Crochet Magical Creatures. And the link will pop up every now and then. Um, you could also type in exclamation point magical. That's the Amazon link. If you want to get it, you can get it anywhere that that sells crochet or craft books. Most retailers carry it. And, uh, I love it. Love, love this book. Working in the round here, sometimes I'll sing this song in my head. Come on. There are so many pieces to this fairy that I'm... We're not going to get it done tonight. So I've made the, the head and the body, the arms, the legs, the petals for its, their skirt. And the hair. And we're doing a space buns. There's curls, there's ears, there's hair bands, there's long wings, there's short wings. It's insane. But easy. But easy. It's just a lot of parts. Sing on the next two. Ah. The yarn kind of split when I'm trying to do this decrease. The song by a German artist is actually about the search for parking space. I've been doing my love lonely rounds here for hours. <laughs> what? Alrighty. <laughs> the search for our parking space. I counted right. I, I like that. When I get to the end of the round and the count is right, I kind of feel like, like I won. It's like a mini victory. All right, round eight. Single in the next. Oh, this song here. 
This is my redeem. This is my slowdown redeem. Probably didn't have Twitch, otherwise he wouldn't have been lonely. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I think that's, is that the last round? Oh, come on, it's split again. This yarn, this yarn splits a bit, not like Karen Simply Solved, it's not that bad. Uh, medium tail for touching the bone to the head. All right, let's do a chain. Cut that. And I'm not even weaving in the tails of my magic ring. I'm pulling them tight. I mean, this is... I don't think this is going to come apart. And I'm going to leave them kind of long. And they'll get stuffed in there. And if it comes apart, I can always fix them. Normally, you would weave in your tails. So I've got one space bun. Now we're going to make another one of those. I have enough of this yarn. Okay, I'm going to make that in the curls in that. Uh, the other pink is the headband. I think I can do that. Okay. Four rounds. I like that cute little dancing dino. Two. Come on. I got to think about dinner soon. I am getting a little hungry. What did everybody have for dinner? What did everyone have for dinner? If you were part of the raid train or even hanging out in the raid train, did you all have pizza? I did not have pizza, and I should have. Actually. If there's no leftovers left, I can go down and make... Oh, we don't have any pepperoni. I finished off the pepperoni today. Well, I could do a cheese. I could find other other things to put on it. I might make myself a French bread pizza. You have pizza on Sunday? Yeah, I was going to have pizza on Saturday, the day that I streamed, but I was not feeling well. I was not having a good week last week. Steak, mashed potatoes, and green... Oh, that sounds good. That sounds good. That sounds really good. Pizza three times? Nice. And Supreme, I've heard how you and Ship get pizza, and you know what? That is my type of pizza. A loaded Supreme pizza. All different types of toppings. Mark this. 
Um, in case somebody, yes, yes, ten top. Oh, hey there, knitter girl. Too hot to cook. No, I get that. I get that. And you can have uh, food that you can't cook. You don't have to cook. I know here when it's really, really hot. One of our things we have quite often is we just do a garden salad and then make some tuna salad. Get it, open a couple cans of tuna fish, add some mayonnaise and maybe some celery in it. And you make it ahead of time and you keep it in the refrigerator so it gets really cold. And then either have that on top of the salad or on the side or even like a sandwich. But no, I, I know how it is when it's so hot. We even have an air fryer that we love. We've got the type of air fryer where you pull the, the, the door down, kind of like an oven. And it's got racks that you can move in and out. It's not the basket style. And that's how we how we do the uh, French fried pizza. We do all different types in there. And it doesn't heat up the kitchen as much. We use our air fryer all the time. Okay, that was round three. Two. It makes really good hot dogs. I don't know if anybody here eats hot dogs and brats. And uh, I prefer them on the grill or a campfire. But air fryer is my next favorite way to have them. You got Subway? What uh what do you get at Subway? What is your uh what is your go to? When I go to Subway or any other sub shop, oh, anyway, something popped into my head. Great Canadian or steak and cheese? What's a great Canadian? I, well, that kind of makes sense. They might have different options in Canada than they do in the U.S. I was wrong four. Turkey and ham with bacon. Ooh. That sounds good. I'd eat that. I'm not a big ham eater, but if it's sliced thin on a sandwich with other stuff, I'll eat it. But yeah, that sounds good. I, I would definitely eat that. My go-to is the Italian BMT on Italian urban cheese bread with lettuce, tomato, onions, black olives, and mayonnaise. That is my go-to at Subway. Thank you for the check-in, Supreme. Thank you. That is my, uh, my go-to. Now, if it's other places, we have a local shop. Uh, thank you for the check-in, Knitter Girl. We have a local shop. Well, kind of local. Earlier, earlier tonight, we were talking about... Um, somebody had mentioned a road in a town near me. And they don't actually live in this town. They don't live in this state. But we're talking about Glen Burnie, Maryland. That's like a, a town near me. And... Uh, up in that area, there's the sub shop. They don't deliver. Well, they don't deliver, but I think there would be a possible. I think they might be on DoorDash. Maybe. Maybe not. Anyway. 
they don't they don't need to deliver to me because no. Um, you like KFC too? I don't. I'm. I, I don't. I don't do fried chicken. Thank you for the check in, Catherine. What kind of stream is this? Dirty hookers and gigolos. Yes, yes. But there's this local sub shop. Oh my god, it's so good. They have the best Italian cold cuts in the world. And their bread is nice and soft on the inside and crispy on the outside. It's all um, Italian and Greek food. They have pizzas and subs and baklava and stromboli. Baklava is not a, 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 a meal. Well, it actually could be a meal. And you name it. And uh, they're... Uh, their Italian cold cuts are the best. We stumbled across this place. It's called Maria D's. If you're ever in the Maryland central area and here and you, you go to Maria D's, oh my god. And you're in and you like subs and pizza. Um check them out. We found them by accident. It was many years ago. Me and my mom were driving around and shopping or whatever. And we wanted to get subs, and we went to this one gas station that had a Blimpy, a Blimpy uh, sub shop inside. And Blimpies are pretty good. You can get them nationwide. I think you can get them nationwide. But they had closed that portion of the store. The gas station was still open, but it was right after closing for the sub shop. So... We're just driving around. Fire, Firehouse subs is good, except most of their subs are hot. And I don't want a hot Italian cold cut. But uh, we're driving around, and one of the first places we came across that said a sign that said subs. And it's on the main, it's on the main road. So we're going to go, let's try it. And we, um, thank God that that blimpy was closed. Because <laughs> we would have never found Maria D's. They don't sponsor me, and then they're local. You know, obviously they're local. Um, but if Maria D's wanted to sponsor me, <laughs> they don't have to pay me in money. They could just pay me in uh, in sandwiches. Carl's Jr. Yes, um, I'm on the east East Coast, and Carl's Jr.'s version on the East Coast is Hardee's. They're owned by the same people. They're pretty much the same. There is, there is some differences. I've never been to a Carl's Jr., but I know there is some some things on the menu that uh, Carl's Jr. has, but Hardy, Hardy's doesn't, and maybe vice versa. So it's seven. Oh, no. Wait, was that seven? Hold on. Ho, ho de own. <laughs> if you're from Maryland, ho de own. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was seven. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, we got a frog. We got a frog around. But I have a stitch marker, so I can frog back to the stitch marker. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to have another ad here in about a minute. And I am going to go and get something to drink on that ad. Let me go to that ad break. Let me check here. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Let's frog out. We're going to frog the whole thing out. To heck with it. To heck with it. Because I totally lost count. <laughs> oh, the Crafty Club can't, can't crochet on stream. Yeah, we might have to do end up figuring our setup for uh, floor arranging where I don't have to count. One of those nights. All right. 
I am going to do some stretches, finger stretches and stretch, and get something to drink. We will be back after this quick break. Hold on, hold on, everybody. We will, we will return. Welcome back. I saw chaos happened. Um, okay, thank you, Ship, and just to curious, <laughs> thank you for entertaining everybody. Um, uh, what do we say? What do we see here? Wait a minute. Thank you so much for welcoming to your streaming community. Yes, Supreme is amazing. So are you, Knitter Girl. So are you. Too kind. Of course, you're always welcome. Ah, oh, good two shoes. Good two shoes is on a three stream streak. How do you? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Welcome in Raiders. Welcome in Raiders. Um, how was your stream? Welcome in Dueling Pisces. Let me give you a shout out. And I saw what you redeemed there, Supreme. Give me one second. Let's give you a shout out. What were you doing? Want to know all the things?
looks like you were uh, d making some clothing on there on a dress form. Let me ca let me check. Let me catch up. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, hey there, Jams. Welcome in, Jams. How are you? Um, good. welcome in, Raiders. A random Twitch, a Pisces duo with needle and thread and game to pursue. That doesn't rhyme. They ask you, should I, but can I, with glee, cosplay and gaming for all to see. Six streams with Miku, a chat and a song, no ads to interrupt the play all night long. File for projects, book wack wacky and grand, dueling Pisces in your feed, take a stand. Um... I popped in to say hi. All right, Jams. Thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, Dueling Pisces says, I usually cosplay craft, but I have been sick, so we did... Wait. A sick gaming stream. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, that's a big difference. Um, we are the we are 18 plus, but I don't know if we're that 18 plus. Um, honestly, though, I really want to hang out. No, that's fine. That's fine, Jams. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, but yes, welcome in. Welcome in, Nonami. How are you? Um, if you're new here, if you, if you have anything to share, um, Dueling Pisces, besides the, uh, the, the clip we saw, feel free to post in the, uh, the chat. If you have like an Instagram, love to see all of that. No, I understand. I totally understand that it's, it's a slip of the fig, the, of your finger. It's all good. You're good. Um, how would that even work? I don't want to know how that works. Just we're, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. I am the Crafty Cub. I am a fiber artist, mostly crochet. We have done other things on stream, but uh, we are trying, attempting, possibly, um, to do this um, garden fairy. I wanted to say it's a gnome, but there's a gnome later in the book. This is in a book called Crochet Magical Creatures by Drew Hill. And uh, we're working our way through the book. We've made five other ones already, but um, I'm getting all the pieces done. So we got arms and legs and the body, and she's got petals for a skirt, and we're working on the hair. Believe it or not, this is hair. Um, but uh, welcome in, welcome in. We just got back from a quick little break, and we're going to bring some music back. We listen to 80s music here usually. Because I am a child of that decade. And, uh, but yes, welcome in. I also specialize in teaching crochet. So if anybody has any questions, um, feel free to ask at any time. I can stop what I'm doing and pick up a hook. Uh, love to share you instead of show off amazing photos, uh, for dog friends as well. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Okay, let's take a look on this. Let me, uh, Let's see here. Let's open this up. Uh, wait, how do I get good? Didn't expect you to answer. Uh, I'm confused. I'm confused. Poison, yes. There might be some poison on this playlist. I'm not certain. Um, I don't know what I have. All right, let's take a look at Dueling Pisces's... Uh, Instagram, make almost everything cosplay. Yes, let's take a look. Oh, wow. That is so cool. You know what? Okay. You know what? I just followed you. Just, I'm just, I, 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 yeah. That, this is really cool. Uh, the C under my tentacle tenta, dress is one of my favorite details of the dress. Sadly, not many people know about it. Get to see it. That is so, so cool. You are like a talented. Isn't this cool? Um, this is so very, very nice. Let's see. What else do we have? Let's take some, a look at other, other stuff. Ooh. I like your, uh, all of your creations. Got some steampunk going with the goggles. Now let's take a look at some of these other pictures. Very, very nice. 
Very cool. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Again, I'm following you now. So uh, I will have to take a look at the rest of your Instagram. So everybody go and follow both. Let me follow you here on Twitch as well. Oh, I already am following you. <laughs> um, everybody go and follow them on Twitch and on Instagram. And thank you for um, for bringing your community here. Thank you. And if you need to rate and run and do after stream stuff, uh, I totally understand. Your community is safe. We are 18 plus and we are the home of the proud dirty hookers, but we are harmless. We are harmless except for ship, but I'll keep him in line. Uh, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, but yes, thank you for coming in. Um, like I said, I specialize in crochet. I teach at any time, anytime on my stream, I can teach. So I can always stop pick up a ball of yarn and a hook and demonstrate. I've even taught ship, taught shipwreck how to do some crochet stitches in the past. So uh, it's possible. Uh, I got to judge your first contest recently and it was so fun. Very cool. Very cool. Shared a small work in progress in the Discord. Also posted the video. Oh, welcome in, Mindy. Welcome in. Welcome in. Let me... Uh, Probably raid run since I'm still recovering from the flu. Make sure you to, to update. Yes, yes. You and go and get and get some rest, and I hope you feel better. Thank you for raiding in. Thank you. Uh, we're going to go and take a look at what is over here on the Discord. Let me see if I can make this larger. Um, this is from Mindy. The, oh, what is this piece going to be, Mindy? And thank you for the check-in ship. What is this going to be? Is this like going to be a top? Oh, the shawl. Oh, nice. A triangular shawl. I love doing, doing, making. I don't use them myself, but I love making them. Currently, you're currently into wearables. Wearables can be fun. I've only ever done shawls and uh, hats, but I want to broaden, broaden my range of wearables. Thank you, Mindy. Thank you. And you said that there's a tutorial. Did you post that in the pattern section? Let me see here. Um. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Thank you. Thank you. I need to go and um go through that that pattern section and really dive deep into it. And see, and maybe try some of these patterns that everybody is recommending. Um, maybe I might, it might do them on stream at some point. All right, before we went to break, I had to frog out my piece because I completely lost track of how many rounds I was doing. So let's start it all over again. It's probably going to take me all night just to do these small little pieces. Three, four, six. And how are you, Mindy? Two, six. Speaking of hair bands. I mean, I guess, I guess you can classify Aerosmith as a hairband. I would. <laughs> Hair for it. Yes. Yes. I mean, when I think of hair bands, I don't think of Aerosmith. I think of like Poison and Warrant and uh, Def Leppard and uh, recovering from a low bar blow blow sugar incident. Oh, went down. Oh, and sixty five. Oh, are you are you sure you're okay?
I want to make certain that you're all right, uh, Mindy. Sirius XM does? Okay. I, well, I don't have satellite radio, so I didn't know if they would be hair, but yeah, I think they're a hair band. My headset dropped off. Yes, I asked if you're all right. You ate three Hershey bars and it's spike. Okay, okay. Just want to make certain that you're fine. Yes. Yes, I do love some chocolate. We don't have any chocolate. We're going out tomorrow to run an errand, a couple errands. And I do have we do have to go to the grocery store. I might I might pick up something chocolatey. Two, two, three, four. Those, uh, my mom had sugar problems. Chocolate or peanut butter always, yes, yes. Those that eat chocolate or are able to eat chocolate, what is your favorite chocolatey treat? Be anything chocolate. Cadbury cream eggs. I've never been a fan of those, but I can see that a lot of people like those. I don't like the gooey part on the inside. <laughs> Brownie. Oh, yes. We get the... Um, The Ghirardelli chocolate brownie mix, like the, I think it's the triple chocolate, and we add walnuts to it. Oh, so good. Husband has to distract me at the store. <laughs> when they, yeah, yeah. My favorite, if it's a candy bar. It's either a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup or a Reese's Nutrageous Bar. And if you've never had a Nutrageous Bar, imagine, if you will, a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup and a Snickers got together and had a, a love child. <laughs> that is how I can describe it. Lindor. Oh, Lindor Truffle. Oh. I love those. I love like it, just like the milk chocolate ones. They just melt. They used to make, and I can't find them. And they used to make a hazelnut one, but those were so good. Yadarika, 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 Yadarika. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you won't believe what I. What did you find? You've been finding a lot of things. You've been finding a lot of things lately, Yadarika. You found old. Um, knitting and crochet pattern books. You found some of your old uh, projects. There's something else I think you found. What did you find? Your lost sock. <laughs> I know. I know you didn't lose it, but you've got a large rock on your property that you were gifted when you were seven, when sixteen. Uh, <laughs> yes, the hazelnut ones were so good. Uh, how much you've actually accomplished today? Actually, you want to know how much I've, I've accomplished in three and a half hours? Don't look at not, none of that. This. <laughs> this is what I have accomplished today. <laughs> 
two pieces and starting a third. <laughs> Am I a real maker and crafter streamer? I don't get much done. <laughs> But what did you what did you find, Yadarika? What did you find? And thank you, good two shoes. I'm on the edge of my seat, not literally. If I was on the edge of my seat, it would be a totally different stream. You wouldn't see me because I'd fall off the chair, and I probably wouldn't be able to get up off the floor. So, um, you'd end up seeing. This is what you would end up. Well, I can't. Well. I would get up, but I'm not getting up. But yeah, you would just see an empty chair. <laughs> she left. Wait, did Yadarika really leave? I hope she didn't. Like, I, I was serious. I want to know what she found. <laughs> um, your sanity. You thought it was gone for. Is this art and gesture? No, this is not. Okay, uh, this is not chaos. Chaos like art and jest. This is not a Brenda stream. <laughs> She's still in your list? Okay. She trolling us? Ah, uh, I don't think Yadarika would troll us. People who drink mustard are not trolls. If you know, you know. Did I just did I just lose count? Okay, I better not have, I'm not I have not lost count. One, two, three, four. We're good. Thank you for the check-in. All right, so that was round four. Two. All right, where was I? But yeah, that's all I've gotten done today. Well, we what, what, what were we talking, talking about? We were talking about... I don't even know what we were doing tonight. <laughs> Wow, Crafty Cub lost his memory. We talked about the floral arranging arrangements that I've done. Uh, we saw, we only saw a few things on Discord. Um, talked about the raid, the raid train, and dueling Pisces. Um, raided us. Yes, I did make ship a mod and. For anybody out there that streams and is a little apprehensive that I've done that, he's actually a pretty good mod. He's actually a pretty good mod. So, he could be trolly, but when it comes to modding, he's he's alright. I mean, Supreme has him as a mod. Also, Supreme married him. So, and Supreme, I think, is a good... What is a good judge of character? That that I know of of Supreme. So um yeah. Uh yes, it was we were talking about chocolate. Found this sword at the thrift store. Did you know? Did you know that now if Cleansy's still here, if Cleansy's still here, he can back me up. He can correct me. But when you graduate, and I don't know what level of school, I don't know if it's middle school, elementary, high school, whatever degree in upper education, it's not PhD. Well, actually, it is, it is PhD. Yes, he showed it. That when you get a PhD, and you're in, you're in Finland, you're in university, and you, and you, you get your PhD, you get this special top hat, and you get a sword. And you walk, like, walk through the town. Yeah. They don't do, like, a cap and gown like we do here in North America. They get a sword. Um, wait a minute. Taking pic. Okay, Yadarika's taking pics. Wanted the sword to find your sanity. Um, wait, 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 wait. Wait, part of my Discord's on stream? Oh, 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 that's okay. That's that's fine. Thank you. That yeah, that's fine. Um catch up with chat. 
Uh, good mod because he likes pushing buttons, but this is worth purpose. Yes. Yes, you are a very good judge of character. Uh, which channel should you post them in? Like, what What are they related to, Yadarika? I don't know. Um, all of them. You're moving to Fidland. You need a top hat and so. But you have to be a. You have to get your PhD. Because we were in. I was in Cleansy's stream earlier, and we're talking about that. Because he was talking about his thesis. I think he's going for his master's, and uh, somebody had asked about graduation uniform, and he was talking about that. And when you get, yeah. And somebody said that they, I think it was Stitchcraft with Hal. I think Stitch, I think Hal said, we need you to get your PhD so you can walk, walk around with a top hat and a sword. It includes wanting you to help find something about the, wait, what? Uh, I guess general? Yadarika, I am confused. If you post him in all the channels that he's to come to find. Um, you go to Finland and get a PhD in, in tomfoolery. Well, hmm. I think Ship can probably teach that class. All right, where are we? One, two, three, four. We've got five. We've got five. Five. Yes, Gatorade, you can post that over in general, and I'm afraid. I'm very afraid to see what you have found. And you said something. Wait, you said something about something that I can find? Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Uh, wait, where's it at? Wait, where? Okay, I gotta catch up. I gotta not catch up, scroll back. Include. It also includes wanting you to help find something about them. Okay, Yadarika knows that I am an amateur internet sleuth. I think there's been a couple times that she has tried to find a certain object or... Actually, it was two things. Yes. It was um, tatting thread and tatting shuttles. And both of them are discontinued. And I did some little detective work. And I found them for her. And I know she got the the, the tatting shuttles. I don't know if she under, ever found the right color of the thread. So it's probably something along those lines. I do like a I do like a mystery. Maybe I should uh Maybe I should make a redeem kind of like a Sherlock Holmes thing, where I have to wear a, a Sherlock Holmes hat and a pipe, and I can easily get a pipe. Um, like a smoking pipe. Like a tobacco pipe. Hey. Stop. Stop. Crafty Cub, just stop. Alright. That is round six. We need round six. You posted. Okay, good. Okay. What? Well, I'm... I'm scared. Okay, this is over on the Discord. All right. Oh! <gasps> I'm assuming it's okay for me to show this. I'm assuming it's okay for me to show this. Yadareka. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're putting this book away so I can see the screen. All right, these are some crocheted doilies that is gorgeous that is oh, love and these i'm assuming these covid you probably help me find it's a lot of people trying to find <laughs> oh there's actually a subreddit called that oh okay you shouldn't have told me that you should not have told me that i'm assuming these are like vintage old uh old doilies all right, what's next? Oh, wow. Yeah, um, Grammy ETC is a bunch of them. And I've shown them on stream before. I should get them out again and show them, take pictures, or at least maybe show them on stream. Very pretty. Oh, I like this one. I like this. I like the pineapple. The pineapple motif. That's what that little... Uh, you want to find the patterns and try them? All right, okay, I, 
Hmm. It's going to take some detective work. Oh. That one's pretty. That one's really pretty. Yeah, Yadarika. Your great grandma made all of these. Oh, wow. Yadarika, you definitely have given me a uh, a challenge. I like the swirly ones, too. Those are fun. Do you often do the metal tatting? Oh, yes, Tatter... Yeah, Tata, Tatarika. That's your new name. Your new name is Tatarika. Uh, Yadarika does tat with wire. So the last two are separate from this group. Oh, wow. Yeah. Grammy ATC has some that are like this. Do it when the mood hits you. Google image search that. Yeah. That's a possibility. Oh, and then the crosses. Those are, those are cool. All right, Yadarika. Okay. Oh, and then there's more. <gasps> and crow, wait, crow tatted. Oh, wow. KB Fibers crow tats. KB Fibers was crow tatting on uh, um, the Traveling Tatters raid train back in April. This is really pretty. Yeah, I can see the uh, the crochet here. The crochet on this part. And then these little trefoils shape. That is the tatting. That is gorgeous. Wow. All right. Okay. Yes. Got to rake. Oh, wait. That doesn't need to go. I keep moving that. Yeah. Um. You're going to. You've, you've given me a project to do. Okay. Yeah. We'll do some searching. I'll see what I can come up with. What I could do. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We forgot one. We forgot one. This is one that Yadarika said that she made. And this is tatting. Yeah, this is tatted. Wait, wait. Is that tatted? Yes, that's tatted. I'm trying to look at the stitches. Yeah, that's definitely tatted. Needle tatted. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are, you've given me... You've given me a job. I have to go and and search, which is fine, which is fine. But what I could do, it's really not going to be a difficult thing. I can look through physical patterns and online patterns, old patterns, and, uh, and take a look. Yes, yes, Shep, you want to interrupt? What are you going to interrupt with? I'm afraid. It makes me laugh every time. I don't know why. <laughs> it's not that funny. It is, but it's not. <laughs> Thank you, Ship. Thank you. <sighs> 91 Fahrenheit. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was hot here, too. I don't know what the temperature was, but it was it was toasty. I think so. Yeah, I think it was one of the Jurassic move, Jurassic Park movies, and somebody dubbed the audio of somebody going, Yas! I can't say it right. 103, ugh. What is the temperature here? Now keep in mind, it is 9.30 at night here, and the sun has gone down. Come on, come on. Why won't my thumb... Maybe it's 83? It's 82. It's 82, so it's cooled down. Jurassic Park, one of your favorites. I wish it was fall, too. Oh, 
Fall is my favorite. Fall is my favorite. Yadarika, you're headed off to bed. All right, Supreme. Thank you. Get some sleep and thanks. Thanks again for the wonderful raid train that we had. Um, I had a great time. Um, you did a wonderful job. You and Ship did a great job putting it on, and everybody that was a part of it did a great job as well. Did you bless the rains out in Africa? Yes, we did. Yes, we did, hijinks. Uh, but yes, get some sleep. Get some sleep. Um, Yadarika, were you here earlier when I mentioned my giveaway that's going to be happening um, later in September? You, you might be interested in it because I know you crochet. So... For the months of August and September, you can enter my giveaway. It's not, you can't enter now. You'll be able to, uh, you were collecting doilies. So in August and September, you can you can enter the giveaway by, there's going to be a channel in my Discord for the giveaway. And you're going to post a picture of your interpretation of fall or Halloween in any medium you want. So it doesn't have to be crochet. When you enter the giveaway, you have to be willing to pay for your own shipping for this item. It's a lightweight item, so it's not it's not going to be too bad, hopefully. And at the end of September, I'm going to spin a wheel with names and pick a... Uh, there will be three winners. And you can win a Bat Woobles kit, a Ghost Woobles kit, or a Frankenstein Woobles kit. Um, again, three different winners, and, uh, they'll be picked at random. I'm going to spin the wheel. Again, you have to post the picture in the Discord when I set up that channel. I'm going to be working on that here in the next week or so. And you have to pay for your own shipping, because I cannot afford shipping. So, that is the... Oh, and also, you either have to crochet, or know somebody really, really close to you, like a close family member or a really close friend that will crochet. I don't want it just going off to anybody. It's not going to use it. And it comes with all of the materials. The yarn, the stuffing, the safety eyes, the needle, the hook. You name it. So, And I want to thank, and they're not here right now. I want to thank Clay Miko. She gifted me these months ago. I think back in like December, January. And I've been holding on them to them since. I've never done a Woobles kit myself, but uh, I know there are people that do that like them. So I've never tried them. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's six. Seven. All right. So now we're going to pay attention. Single. In these two stitches. And then we're going to decrease. But uh, I'll have all that information on my Discord um, when it it's all set up. And I'll have it in my About section here on Twitch. I'll make a panel for that and all the instructions. I think when I finish this piece here, which is another round or so, we're going to find somebody to raid into because uh, I'm getting hungry. I haven't really eaten much today. I did have a sandwich this morning, or closer to the morning, and... Grammy ETC made homemade biscuits. So I did have some of those as a snack this afternoon before I streamed. And I think I had like a slice of cheese. Crafty Cub is pretty hungry. It's hard to eat when it's hot. Yeah, I hear that. And when it's hot, I can't do a lot of dairy. I can't do ice cream. A lot of people, ice cream when it's hot, no. 
I eat more ice cream when it's cold. It just it turns makes my stomach upset. Stitch in the next and decrease. Okay, stitch. And decrease. Oh, talking about the chocolate earlier. I besides those candy bars I like. Uh, I love, love a Dutch chocolate ice cream. It's smoother and creamier than a lot of other chocolate. It's it's not a brand name. It's just a flavor. It's what they do. It's the process that they do to the chocolate. And uh, it's really good. So if you can ever find Dutch chocolate, I would recommend trying it. I don't know what they do to it. They do something to it. They add something to it. I forgot what what it is. Oh, and then I also like my favorite cake. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, thank you, Siribot. Uh, my favorite cake of all time is a German chocolate cake. Now, it's not from Germany. It's again, it's a way that they process the chocolate. It was invented by a man with the last name of German. And uh, it's got the uh, coconut pecan frosting in between the layers and on top. Oh, it's my favorite. I like, actually, I, th I like the frosting more than I like the cake part. <laughs> All right, we have another space bun done. I used to get that on my that cake on my birthday, and I would tell my mom, "I'd be like, just make me a bowl of the of the of the uh, icing. It looks disgusting. If you ever see the, the 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 icing, it's got the coconut in it, and it don't want to gross anyone out, but it looks like a bowl of snot. <laughs> it looks like a bunch of boogers, but it's so good." It's one of the worst things you can eat because it's full of sugar. Like, lots of sugar. But, oh God, it's so good. All right, so, four, almost four hours of streaming, and this is all I have. I've got hair. We have, well, we have most of the hair. There's still a little more hair left to do. We've got the main hair and our little space buns. That's going to be cute when it's on our... Okay, we're going to find somebody to raid. I don't know what's going on anymore. Uh, yes, I have hair. This is, this is the hair that I have. This is all, it's pink. It's pink. See, doesn't it like, doesn't it fit? Isn't it me? It's actually the same color as my skin. <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> wait, okay, wait, wait. Here we go. Here we go, Shep. This is the test. So, you can see me? Now you can't. You can see me. Now you can't. <laughs> I'm, I'm weird. I am very strange. I don't know why people watch me. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm okay or not. <laughs> I've lost it. All right, let's see who is on. Who happens to be streaming at this moment? And we're going to bring some of this silliness towards. Um, the past couple days, I've been riding into the raid train, and there's nobody on the raid train. It's no official raid train right now. Um, what are they doing? Wait, wait. Let's see something. What are they doing? All right. This, I know. Uh... Miss Kubit, I think I'm following them. I'm following them. Let me see. What are they working on? Crochet stream, working on another Rubik. Oh, oh, wait. They're crocheting a Rubik's Cube? All right, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. What is going on here? They're crocheting a Rubik's Cube. All right. Thank you, Gatorica. Yes, that is perfect. That that 
That is who we're going to raid. Because it all ties in. It's crochet. It's 80s. It's rad and totally tubular. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe I just said that. Let's move the book out of the way. <laughs> all right. So, let's get the raid call. Oh, I haven't even had... Wow, I haven't used this raid call in forever. That is the raid call for followers, if you will. No, I am not okay. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm fine. That is the raid call for followers. Let me move my glass so I can find this other raid call. Um, wait a minute. Oh, here it is. I, I don't remember where I put it. So that is the raid call for followers. This next one is the raid call for subscribers. Um, if you would, if you would, please copy either raid call, um, whatever one you're able to use. If you are a subscriber, you could use that one. Again, you know the drill. We are going to go and raid Miss Cubis TV. And uh, like, like Yadarika had said, and I had said, that they are crocheting a Rubik's Cube. Think Cobb had too much caffeine? Actually, you might be right, because I hadn't had caffeine in a while. So, and I am drinking my... If you're following her, and you're if you're familiar with Bray Crochet, she drinks her Diet Coke. Me, me and her are Diet Coke twins, so... That, and... That's my... I was just doing my, my best Bray Crochet impersonation. Anyway. <laughs> and Woobles! And Wubble. I had an idea. I have an idea. Okay. Thank you, Gatorica. <laughs> Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's get this raid started. <laughs> All right. So, copy those raid calls. I want to thank everybody who was here tonight. Um, oh, it's follower, subscriber only chat. So keep that in mind. Um, I want to thank Dueling Pisces for rating into me. I want to thank everybody who is here and supporting me and hanging out with me. Um, I will be on again tomorrow at the same time, 6 p.m. Eastern North American time. We might get more done on this garden fairy. Who knows? We don't know. We don't, I don't Maybe we'll get another piece done. Um, but yes, I want to, uh, Let's head on over there. Let's do the thing. We're going to go and see what they're doing. 